How's everybody doing tonight? Good. I am the neighborhood dungeon master, otherwise known as the FN DM. It's 7 p.m. on Saturday night, and you know that that means that this is Cold Hard Witch, our Rime of the Frost Maiden playthrough brought to you by Lawful Stupid RPG, who just freaking crushed, by the way, our charity playthrough of the Stranger Things module, uh, 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 a resounding huzzah to Chael as the DM and to our, our, our young adventurers. Everyone give them a huzzah. Huzzah! Huzzah! huzzah. huzzah. Gathered around the, uh, the, the campfire tonight, we have none other than Nathan playing Professor Reginald, our resident warlock, Madeline, who plays Zolvana, our bard, there is Buddy, who plays Xander, the wizard, and Rodney, who plays Flynn, our dwarf flinging fighter, then there's Lee, who plays Herrick, the cleric, and last but never least, in my heart and in my mind, is Amy, who plays Fariel, the drogue. Uh, hey friends, how are we doing tonight? Good. Good. Doing good. Excellent. We... Good. Good. Yeah, so when we last left our intrepid adventurers, they were in the midst of a East Haven town hall beatdown. Mm -hmm. It was oh, a ballroom yeah. blitz, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Gather round the campfire, my friends. When we last left our group of adventurers, they had stayed one more night, much to the professor's chagrin, in East Haven town hall after being incentivized with a pretty healthy reward. And on top of that, just the good of Speaker Prudence Tarkwald and the uh, the uh, the call to arms from uh, Imdra, the captain of the guards. And as the night fell, all hell broke loose. As the Durgar erupted from the dungeon floors, uh, which were staunchly held off by Herrick the Cleric in the initial rounds, and then the rest of the party backed him up, and they were handily dealt with. But as many of you may or may not have noticed, other things are happening around the East Haven Town Hall. And now as the party tries to make their way out of the Durgar soaked dungeons, they are discovering that all is not well. And so we begin, uh, I think we finished last time with, first off, battle music. Ba, 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 ba. Yeah. Uh, and I believe we finished at the end of the round, which means we're gonna start right back at the top of the round uh, in East Haven Town Hall, which of course brings us to uh, I believe Fariel, you were the first one up on the on the docket, as it were. Yeah, I'm totally prepared for that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Lies. <laughs> Surprise, you're up. I'm yeah. super ready, guys. Super yeah, right. So, so Fariel had been uh, on the third floor trying to make sure that. Oh, that's right. I am ready because I'm just kind of hanging out. Yeah, right, right. So Fariel had made her way up to the third floor to make sure that the speaker wasn't safe was in fact safe and sound. And she is, in, she is indeed uh, secured behind the, the captain and a few of the guards who look who are looking a little thuggish. So uh, uh, scancy eyeballs being played around the room. Uh, so then we're gonna go ahead to- That one next. there, Ryan, he looks trapped. Is he okay? Oh, absolutely he is because <laughs> these rat <laughs> bastards keep setting this mother bear trap any chance they get. And to their credit, it works pretty damn well Every damn so time. good. The the bear trap is the official seventh member of our party. I oh, keep man. saying this. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The bear trap about named Paul. Paul. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Paul has his own life, and he plays plays with us. He plays with us when he can. Ah. All right. So we've got. Um, wait, hang on. I did want to do something. Oh, oh. Well, stop my gob. You go ahead. Um, I just want to. I only have thirty feet of movement, so I'm going to come back over here by this thug. Okay. And I just want to give a listen myself and see if I can hear anything going on outside. Excellent. Uh, roll, me up, roll me a perception check. Let's see. Ooh, okay. 17 perception is a pretty solid perception. So um, your, your droguish ears perceive um, the, uh, like there appears to be like the sounds of scuffling. I mean, obviously you, you, you hear from the basement level, sort of the shouts have died down a, a wee bit, but there are still the occasional like sh uh, shout of pain kind of coming up through the floorboards. Cause if you, if you realize like 
the sort of where the third floor is situated, you're right above sort of that open expanse that drops where the right, yeah, the, so you, the yeah. floorboards underneath aren't exactly soundproof. So you can still hear like the scuffling in the dungeons and like the sh like shuffling and sounds of like, uh! and so like you, you're hearing like a concophony of combat kind of happening around you, but it's uh, dulled down a little bit. By the way, concophony of combat is my ska band, apparently. That's cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, Ryan, help me out with this map here. Absolutely. If I, from the third floor. Yes. By the way, uh, the East Haven Town Hall map is designed to confuse and confrustrate. All right. It's, so. Yeah. Um, if I come out this door, these stairs in this area in front of me, where do those come out on the second floor? Are you pinging something right now or am I? Here. Okay, so those stairs right there down to T12, if you look at yeah. the second floor, they go right to there. So as, they, so as these kind of come okay. up, they go to that because this little ledge over here is actually the roof over top, which is over top of this. So these stairs up to, t, uh, up to the third floor lead right up to the library. Okay, and that part, is that a wall there? So that's not open to the part down below? You're talking about this here? He, here. Like, yeah, so yeah, so that 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 is a solid <coughs> wall. Uh, uh, but, and this but this, this is here. a window though. But yeah, yeah. Those, so any, anywhere there's a little gap inside, those are gonna be windows and that looks down into the courtyard. Okay, I'm going to use uh, my party. bonus action to dash and get, let me see how far I can get. Thirty. Okay, so that's there with yeah. bonus action dash. Um, I guess I can use. Yeah, I'll just I'll go ahead and was listening my action or. Yeah, so you did roll for perception, so that yeah. was your action. Okay, perfect. So I'm just gonna wait right there, kind of on the stairs, and that'll yeah. be that'll so be. fruitly. All right, uh, so Thug is up, and this is actually the Thug known as Tall. Tall is going to attempt to get out of this rut and bear trap. So uh, I believe it's a DC 13 strength check, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. All right, yeah, yeah. You think, how did I know that? Because I've had to do it. I'm gonna front and rush my turn. All right, so. Uh, roll, roll better. Rolling for that, and it is a seven. Nice. So he is still in. That damn bear trap. Oh, oh, wait. Oh, no, no, You're, no. He, he he rolled a seven. That's what he rolled. All right. So uh, that's so that's him. He he can't. He's caught in a trap. Uh, <laughs> he can't get out. He takes. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. Well, he takes one point of damage. One point of damage. Of course he does, because yeah. he tried to escape, and his leg falls off. It's aggressive. Oh. Okay, if I, oh, are you gonna be, um, okay. I mean, you can just kill him if it's harder to than tracking. I mean, if that's easier. Yeah, right, no kidding. So, let's see here. Oh, that's just rude. Okay, let's see if this messes up anything. Yup. Oh. oh, oh no. no. Everything. Oh. Uh, okay, so. <laughs> No, it's fine. That's fine. I don't hate my life. I don't hate my life. Uh, mm. Mm. Now there are more Durgar on the turn order. Yeah, uh, and they're not, and they're not there anymore. They, when a, Feriel had a twenty, and oh yeah, I think no, I had I, an eight, and the professor I was had a nine this game earlier. So let's see here. Uh, Herrick was. Flynn was an eleven. Herrick was a four. Feriel was a twenty. <laughs> Professor was a nine. Okay. And Zilvana was an 11. What was that, Lassie? Uh, Xander was an eight. Do you wanna know how I know all that? It's Cause I've messed this up several times today. Trying... Uh, it, it ain't you, I bet it's roll 20, it ain't you. Oh, I appreciate that, I truly do. Oh, God bless America. But now it's totally forgotten <laughs> all of the rules for the bad guys. We uh, three. <laughs> two, two, two? <laughs> all right oh. i mean that works for me let's get them all clustered together <laughs> yeah right mm -hmm. you can just put them all on one go yeah 
right. So. Be easier for you. Yeah, you, yeah, you you'd think that, wouldn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they could just stop and think about their lives. I mean, yeah, right. If they just have a moment of like, you know what? I want to be a dentist. <laughs> Oh, no sure, you never dropped speak. out of college. Why mm -hmm. weren't you at elf practice? Because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not an elf. <laughs> <laughs> Your brother was an elf. Ah, oh, if only he were still here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this got dark suddenly. <laughs> oh, yeah. speaks like Paul. <laughs> yeah, right. This has been Axe Speak Speaks. Who would want to be a zookeeper? I would. Have you seen a cheetah? They're adorable. They are so <laughs> cute. I just want to like cuddle them so bad. I was, I was and just they're... a little private dig at Amy because that's what Amy does for a living. Oh! For real. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's true. That is very true. She looks I've after red pandas for so long. I do look after red panda. <gasps> I want to cuddle a red panda too. <laughs> Can you bring one home to put on the stream? Yeah, seriously. Absolutely not. Uh. <laughs> Can you just do the stream from there? Just yeah, I'll just you know we'll stream from my phone. I'll just do it at work. Oh my yeah, god, yeah. that works. I me. would die. <laughs> ah. I mean. This I doesn't sound things. like a terrible idea. I'm just <laughs> there we go. Yeah, no, so this is, this is what we call riveting drama here, friends. Well, we can always talk about what our... What our poses are going to be, because uh, if you're following along, we're we're going to do the the Polly's Angels poses yeah. with our party. So we, you know, someone has to be the pistol right. up, and someone is out. I just want to say that all of that was precedented on the fact that you asked uh, one thug to take damage. So there it is. Right. <laughs> Living that thug life. All right. So uh, okay, great. Uh, he struggle buses to get out of a trap and absolutely cannot because he sucks. So, uh, I believe up next is none other than the amazing Zolvana. All right, Zolvana. Now, keep in mind, I believe, Herrick, uh, you've still got your uh, sunbeam, moonbeam going? Moonbeam. Um, yeah. No, I dropped it. You dropped it. Lovely. <laughs> well, you should pick it up. Um, all right, so Zolvana, you are currently jam-packed with the rest of your party. In fact, you're all the way in the back in the dungeon. What would you like to do? Uh, um, I'm just saying Flynn was before me in the last one. I'm just throwing it out there, but fair, fair. Um, I have no idea what to do is the moral of the story. Um, <laughs> Flynn is a scholar and a gentleman. And he says to you, <laughs> we, we, like, we like you more than Flynn now. Uh, <laughs> well, that makes sense. I, don't, I don't know about all that, but, um, I, I, who, I don't, I'm just saying that. That's fair. Uh, who who would I have in front of me here? Like, there's this. So in front of you is the knocked out guard that was ah. choked out by Klaska. So I'll actually go ahead and the one where the wizard and that couldn't get. Yeah, yeah, yes. where oh, we were <laughs> the, the stellar display of uh, role playing ability, Damn where it. the professor tried to hit him with a stick and uh, Xander tried to stab him. Awesome. Yeah. Um. Um, there's not really anything for me to do. You say you could try to shuffle your way through the rest of the party, but uh, unless you want to be in the very front. Say, I mean, it. not really. <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hang out back here. Cool. Right yeah. Then. Oh no, is what? that unconscious guard dead? I mean, he's uh, unconscious. Uh, so like for all, for intents and purposes, sure. He's not conch. <laughs> 55 movement could get you to there, Zalbana. That's true. Could get. Wait. If you move 55. To the other side? Yeah, it can get you to there. But aren't. aren't you're not doing the, the light thing anymore, I take it? Mm -mm. Mm. No, okay. we dropped it. Okay. Um. Well, yeah. Okay, fine. I'll at least move. I'll I'll go over here. Okay, good. So you you shuffle through, everyone. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon, pardon me. me. Pardon me. Coming through. Oh, yeah. Me. Yeah. 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 Just gonna, yeah. Whoop. Just gotta yes. move right past there. There. All right. All right. Lovely. And... That's my sword. That's my sword. I swear. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Flynn, door flinger, you're up. Uh huh. Um, I'm gonna run right up on uh, what's my man's name here? Tall. Is that tall? tall. Yeah. That's a tall That's... order. But all right. Nah. Fifteen. Um. <laughs> <laughs> basically, just like you're looking for us, huh? And then just go at him with both swords. All right. All right. <laughs> Dig it. Roll me them attacks. All right. First one. And he he is restrained. Is that right? With the trap? I don't believe or so. Or is he just grappled? It's just grappled. Yeah. So that, that, does, that doesn't confer any bonuses? Yeah, no. Unfortunately, fortunately. First one is an 18. Not that he'll need it with an 18. Uh, that will absolutely hit. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Oh, dear God. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> with an 11 damage on that thug. Yeah, no. Max he... damage. <laughs> How pocket. <laughs> All right. Uh, and that's it, right? You only got the one attack, right? Oh, no. I've got two attacks. Oh, good. <laughs> <laughs> At least... At least. Oh. And now with a 23. That's a 23. Oh, yeah. He's like, well, I've got three kidneys. Wait. <laughs> All right, roll that damage on that second rapier. Uh, another oh. Oh. <laughs> Max damage. Oh, man. He is rolling ones Max in ways damage. that I do not like. All right. Uh. Oh, wow. Okay. So, yeah, that thug is... He's, he's ouchy. Uh, Flynn, give me a beautiful sort of colorful description as to how you uh, pierce his soul. <laughs> um, so he's he's there in the trap, right? Oh, yeah, uh, absolutely. So the first sword is going to go into his leg. Oh. Just like, so he looked down and like, why? Why? And then the second one's going to go right between the eyes. <laughs> oh, man. So as you go to try to get him in the eyes, he's still got a little bit of pump left in him, so he, he manages to dodge it. So it goes through his shoulder blade. So he's, why? Why? And he is just like, openly weeping and he, he may have he may have peed himself a little bit like it's not going great you so, found us <laughs> yeah right right sad panda there uh flynn anything else uh nothing else um yeah, tell me nothing else all right i mean <laughs> <laughs> i mean uh oh no can i get to the other side of him or is that gonna oh uh, you've only got five foot movement yeah, yeah. No, you can't get you can't get through him no. okay and, and, and you yeah, certainly can't five, lay on top 10, of him. 50. That's awkward. <laughs> Even though he's a murderer, consent still matters. All right. I just want to bend him over backwards to use him as a step stool. What? <laughs> the things we hear on Saturday night. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean? Saturday days was worse. They're brutal. Yeah, right. oh, that's yeah. true, man. Man, if I thought I had smack talk, some of these kids' ideas just, it, it both terrifies me and makes me so glad for the future generations. That one's crying. Attack that one. Kill that <laughs> one. <laughs> all right. You Flynn, anything else? else? Nope, that's it. That's all I got. Awesome sauce. So, uh, thug, uh, thug of the ninth level is actually the one uh, here known as Piper. Uh, Piper, upon seeing her friend getting skewered, she goes, "Oh, sorry, Tal." And she hoofs it up the steps. As she hoofs it up the steps, she breaks the line there and then turns. And as she turns, you then see her pull something out of her pocket, and this giant. <laughs> like explosion of goo, that's right, I said it, uh, comes shooting out of a wand and standing now in this stairwell here, uh, as we go ahead, let me go ahead and get my draw tool on. So, so now let's see here, this is gonna be, so it's now a 20 foot cube of, of spider webs. Are you drawing on the DM layer again? Oh, am I? No, I'm not. Are you not? Where are you then? Is that there? I Did can you... see it. What? Right. There he is. Okay. Yeah, so. Doo -doo. Doo -doo. So, there y'all go. That's, that's a wall of webs right there. You are now sealed in the basement. And fortunately, so is Tao. So. Guy, no I honor. Tao was a good guy. Well. No, they're attacking us. Should have thought about that before you stabbed him. All right. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, whoa. He whoa. He they actually, first. Pipper started it, but <laughs> Tal was right there with Pipper. <laughs> Look, it's my job to sow doubt. That's all I do. All right. So, uh, so uh, she does that, and she's going to then take the rest of her movement to 
Nice Atlas. Five, ten. All right. And she puts herself right there, kind of snug up against that wall. Lovely. All right. So up next is none other than the professor. Yeah, and I'm trying to think. I don't know if there's a whole lot I can do. Uh, this poor Septal is stuck. You could he heal can't... me. <laughs> uh... If you kill Tal, we can stand in the dead body space. Wait, what? No. I, I, I could just move and just let me get this trap off. <laughs> Oh, uh, what kind of movement do I have? Right, it's five, ten. Okay, uh, it's a bit crowded. Can I see him? I've got line of sight, right? Tal? Yeah, on that guy. No, you. On the, so you, currently, from where you're at, you do not have line of sight on him. The angle on that would be insane, but not that insane. It's like corner to corner. If you I, if you would move see. forward, sir. You mean right there? Yeah, yeah, that's 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 it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because remember, he's he's back in that alcove a little bit, so. All right. <laughs> but uh, the trail of blood shows exactly where he is. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to start throwing fire around right now, so I'm gonna mind sliver this guy. Uh, Need a DC 13 intelligence save. Oh yeah. Oh good. All right then. So, come on, Tal. Do you think? Oh my God, he crit twenty that. So he, yeah, absolutely. He was just well like, done, tell. <laughs> and then I'll take another step backwards. <laughs> Line server's like B equals MC square, and that was <laughs> what the hell? What? He shakes it off and it's like, what just happened? Ah, a blacked out. What happened? I blacked out. <laughs> All right, so professor, is that you? <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Lovely, Xander. What are you going to do, whiz kid? Uh, well, hell. Oh. Uh, so I can I can shoot uh, Tal, or I can attack Tal from range, but I cannot really move anywhere, can I? Yeah, no, yeah, you, you, you kind of be, you'd be stepping on your own party members to sort of get into uh, melee range with him. Yeah, if I, if I, shot him and killed him can I stand in the space that his body is or are we not doing that eh, I, I yes you could it would it's difficult terrain to kind of move around a corpse but you could still stand on it I would okay. say if he did he did yeah it's just it, it's tough because I can't make two spell attacks um well then I guess I will cast uh, from here, I will just toll the dead on Tal. Oh, all right then. Um, I just That's need to get this, just get rid of this guy. Yeah, uh, DC, yeah. DC 13 wisdom save. DC 13. All right, come on, Tal. See if you keep that wisdom going. Dear God, he rolled a 19. Ooh, you trying to stay guys, alive? Guys, what he's, he's, wrong he's with going to night tonight? school. He's going to make something of himself if you just give him a chance. <laughs> all right. Uh, he, he's not. I, I've, unfortunately, he is not going to. Okay. All right. So, Xander, anything else? Um, I guess I'll just yell out. Uh, I mean, I guess. Do I know that that there's a that there's webs in there? Uh, has uh, so Flynn and I'm looking at him and Herrick and Zelvana. You have all seen like the like literally the, the stairwell go <laughs> just like fill up as if someone just like shattered a couple of Miles Morales' cartridges in the middle of that hallway. Mm. So it is all kinds of sticky goo. Um, you could, I, I would assume that you would have said something to your party members, but. Webs. So there you go, you know it's webs. Webs, webs are flammable. And I, 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 Ooh. I guess I will end my turn with Mr. Smartman over there, not being yeah. mind slivered or told. Yeah, no, <laughs> or told. Kidding. Get told. This is not the flexing I was hoping this thug was going to do, but <laughs> all right. All right. So uh, now we go to. Let me actually go to, go to. Go to, go to. You are a saucy boy. All right. So uh, <laughs> the so then you, you hear from um, the top of the steps. Um, look. We're just trying to get to Cauldron, all right? So if you and your lot would just 
get out of our way. Everything be uh, cake and cheese, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Dumbass. I feel like that's an intimidation role. I mean, <laughs> right then, so that's a no. All right. Uh, and Herrick, it's up to you. Uh, Herrick will look disappointed in the young gentleman called Tal. I just say, the. Just to clarify, Flynn, are your swords still in Tal? I mean, um, yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, they are. You shouldn't remove a, a, the object of a puncture wound. Oh, I thought you were a good guy. <laughs> and then I just flick the war pick to the back and I crack him over the head to try and knock him out. Oh, so declaring, are you declaring non-lethal damage? Then? I am indeed, yeah. Okay, okay, excellent. So you can declare non-lethal damage with melee attacks, and in fact, melee spell attacks as well, provided they are melees. Um, so he, even if he hits and knocks him out, it destroys his HP, destroys his HP. A dirty uh, 20 for max oh, damage. Oh, oh, oh. And with that 11, it will absolutely, he, he gonna go night-night. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, so Tal, our our most intelligent thug, is uh, going to go ahead and let's see here. Since you did attempt to knock him out, let's go ahead and put. It's a good knockout. Oh, here we go. That that seems like a sleepy icon. Let's do that. Um, also, I've still got um, spectral weapon up. So. Oh, your um. Yeah. Yes. Sp spiritual weapon. Your spiritual, spiritual weapon. weapon. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I speaking. Did, I did give you the thing for that. I think. You did. You did. <clears throat> Oh. The token? Yeah. Yeah. All right, then. So. Uh, Lord, what is that? What is happening? I don't know. Madness and insanity. All, all of your. <laughs> all of my things I've just uploaded into. Hang on a second. All right, so. <laughs> Okay, so there we go. There's the there's the image file I wanted, which apparently had all the image files that I was uh, rocking out. All right, so here, Eric is your spiritual weapon. Cool. Uh, where would you like it? Um, could you allow me to to fondle with it? Uh, <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. For sakes, I got the vapors. I asked nicely. <laughs> I'll give you the, I'll give you that on the uh, I'll give you that control on the break. Uh, let's go ahead and you just um, go ahead. it's behind hmm. me so um, I'm gonna use my movement to like look around see the sticky webs and we're like oh this worked before and I'm just gonna <laughs> punch Flynn out of the way <clears throat> excuse me Flynn <laughs> yep um, hey <laughs> so 5, oh, 10, 15, 20 uh, 25 sword. I'm gonna try and barge my way through the web oh god <laughs> Okay. Oh, this oh, worked uh, beautifully before. Oh yeah. god. Okay. Yeah. Did, did it? All right. So, uh, make me a dexterity saving throw. Oh shit! I thought, I thought it was gonna be strength. Looks <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I'm gonna be stuck. Oh my god! I rolled a seventeen. Oh. Okay. Sixteen. Okay. Well, let me just take a looky loo. Uh. Yeah, that that beats the that beats the DC. So, you, sir. So okay, so you're not restrained. Um, and so uh, currently, it's difficult terrain, and uh, and and so you, as, so as, as you kind as you kind of wade in, you're like, and so like you're able to start walking your way through. So, can can I ask DM? Is does that destroy? the web in the no. square that he is no, so, so there, there there is still remaining yeah web there's that... still web so essentially okay. what you're seeing is you're seeing Herrick kind of like shove and push and like kind of like elbow his way through the webs but they're still sort of maintaining and they're trying to like grip him and grab a hold of him but he's just able to sort of like shrug it off and like push his way through and i'll move my weapon up. i can't control it but five yeah, 10, where, where you want 10, it 20 25 i'll put it on top of me for 30 maximum all right, all right. Hover over my head. 
Excellent. And we done. All right. So just back yourself up one more, Herrick, as you're you've been able to enter the first five feet of it. Oh, I thought I could move um, my full movement. Which oh, doing the difficult terrain. That. Yes. Hmm. Oh, hang on. Um, so it'd be five. 10, 15, 20, 25, that'll be 30. Oh, you know what? So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, so yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, you're able to, as so you, you pass that deck save, so you're able to sort of muscle your way through. Okay. All right, lovely, lovely, lovely. It's about to be a bad time for them upstairs. <clears throat> it's okay, I got the web, I got him blocked in. Oh shit, it's a dwarf. <laughs> <laughs> a dwarf coming through the webs. Yeah. Uh, top of the order is Ferriel. He runs through waterfalls, he does. <laughs> <laughs> runs through everything. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is come to this window and just glance downstairs. So I can see through here, right, to the area below. Yes, yes, you can. She, she so see. I see and those two dead guards. You see those two dead guards. And just real quick, make me uh, just, you know what? No, uh, yeah, no, d don't even worry about it. Um, instead of doing the perception check, so as you... That's not comforting at all. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, as you sort of look down, so you're looking down on the room, you see the two dead guards on the floor. One of them, uh, unfortunately, looks like Sven. You also see that there is another, uh, there's another thug right here, uh, at, so which would be like right about there behind the pillar. Okay, uh, you're saying here and there. But apologies. So if you look at the second floor, I'm pinging. So there's a guard right here behind this column, uh, who looks and he's got his he's got a crossbow. I'm not seeing a you're, you're not, you're not, you're not pinging. You're, you must be on the wrong layer or have the wrong tools. Oh, level. apologies, friends. All right, so um, so you see uh, Zeke here on this there layer. There goes. Ah. He is he is right here behind this pillar. So you mm -hmm. can see that he's got his crossbow trained there, um, and then across the way. Oh, Feriel. Uh, you see. A figure that looks very familiar to you from your past across the way on the walkway above. Shit. Oh. Hmm. <laughs> Shit's about to get real. Okay. Uh, would she have heard what what uh, Pipper yelled down to us? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, because yeah, she was right. By, she was like right by that window. So remind me what Pipper yelled. Oh, so uh, as Pipper hollered down, she says, "Look, we're just here for the cauldron. If any right. of you, if you and your lot will get out of the way, okay. maybe old cake and cheese." And then you heard Flynn's maniacal laughter. <laughs> I missed that. That was Pipper. I heard. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So based on all of that. I'm assuming that I know that these guys down here are now hostile. So I am just going to, do they know I'm here? Do I need to, to hide before I shoot is my question. Ooh. Um, Cause I can roll for that if I need to hide, but oh, I wasn't is... in the window. I don't know if they're paying attention up here or if their attention is elsewhere. That is an excellent, so they are, everyone's attention is trained on the stairwell right now. So they do not see you or the, and they're not looking for you. Uh, let me. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, yeah. Everyone's like, they're like laser focused in on, because what they want is down in, in is down in the dungeon. Right. So they're, they think that the rest of the building has been secured. So. Mm -hmm. You okay. Have, you have a you have a you have a moment here. I'm going to shoot my short bow at Zeke then. Lovely. All right then. So shoot your shot. Oh, thank hey. you. That was nice. Twenty-three <laughs> to hit. A, a twenty-three <laughs> will absolutely hit. You can crit so go fish. ahead and roll your damage. You can crit fish. So that's seventeen. Is she? Uh, is she she's not technically stealth, I suppose. But no. Yeah, yeah. No, she's she's not. She's not stealth. No. Or hiding. 
Well, that was why I asked if I needed to hide first or if oh, I was yeah. surprising if you were looking them. To, if, so if you're looking to get advantage on your attack, you absolutely have to hide. Like, if that's if that's what you're asking, apologies. So are you looking to get your sneak attack? Yeah, that's why I asked that. Brilliant, then go ahead and roll me, uh, roll me a stealth. Roll me a stealth. Oh no. Oh Dang my it. God. <laughs> Rut row. All right, so. So seven damage then. <laughs> yeah, right. So and, and and then it, yeah. So then as, as, yeah, you, yeah, so as you go to try to try to get that <clears throat> angle on Zeke, you, you you pop it off, but like at the last second, you like you kind of hear Herrick like rah, 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 as he's like fighting through the webs. And you're like, what the hell is that? And phew, the shot goes, and it gets him, but you that like your your presence is now made awares. All right, so nice though that seven that seven hurts in all the wrong places. All right then. So... And then I'm going to, because that was only 10 feet of my movement, Yeesh. move back up this stairwell a ways. Interesting. Okay. Dig it. Dig it, dig it, dig it. All right. Uh, all right. Next up is going to be... All right. Drow, so the Drow Warrior, upon seeing uh, Fariel poke her head out like this, is going to go ahead and move. And. No, actually, he's not alive. So he's going to go there, put himself behind the columns. As he puts himself behind the columns, he is going to cast. Did did he move? It looks like he went back up to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, he. I, I say he he changed his mind. Okay. Uh, and actually went ahead and he's gonna go ahead and cast darkness on this spot right <coughs> here. So you see, since he saw that shot come from that area. He's going to go ahead and cast, I believe it's in a, ah, uh, spells. It was a 15 foot radius, 60 feet. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, cool. So uh, he goes ahead and fills this. He's going to fill this room with darkness for the 15 feet. So. So fairy all in front of you, you see, as you sort of make your way to the stairs, there's this just like void that sort of erupts around you. Uh, and the room in front of you, as you turn around off like behind the stairs is just this pitch black void. All right. Uh, and then there's Zeke. And he's just like, ow, someone shot me. And you hear the drow very clearly. Shut up. You get shot. See how you like it. Um, and he, again, sort of gets himself back into position. And then from there, I believe, friends of mine, it's Zolvana. Uh, all right. <clears throat> <laughs> Who's now, always surprised when it's her turn. I'm not surprised. I'm like, yeah, why? Um, all right. So uh, I'm since I'm like right next to Flynn, can I, um, can I, can I, um, Poke tall with my rapier. <laughs> I've just knocked him out. <laughs> oh wait, never mind. <laughs> I forgot. I mean, you can. It, it's just kind of mean at this point. <laughs> I forgot. Um, all right. So, like, since you since could it, tie him up. Well, uh, I could. Um, He's in a trap. So <laughs> yeah, time to the trap. Time to the trap. <laughs> since since Herrick is like in there, we we shouldn't like set that thing on fire, huh? <laughs> no. Not yet. You can probably just hear him. Uh, uh, there's not so. spiders in here. Uh, the DM in me says, the friendly DM in me says, no. It's, it's, it's only 2d4 fire damage, so. Yeah, I mean, he's he thick. <laughs> he can take it. I'm not going to do that. I'll just friend. remind you that last session I was on one hit point. I know. Yeah. I know. Um, Remember, friends. Right. Can. Mm, can I move the um, tall then, like over yonder, so that he's out of the way? Oh, you want to try to like drag him out of the way? Yeah. 
Uh, yeah, yeah. No, I, I think you could try to like pull him out from that nook and cranny. Um, uh, Herrick, the 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 bear trap itself is not secured to anything. It's just set down, right? It's not like you like drove a p uh, a piton or anything into the floor, I think right? It gets now to the ground. I think that's yeah, the way it right. Works. That's, that's yeah. typically how it works. But because it was a stone floor, I wasn't yeah, sure if you not. Did yeah. wedge it in somewhere. Yeah. So, it's probably drag it. Uh, it's like scraping along the floor. Yeah. Okay. Good. So as you, you drag it, it's like. <laughs> Yeah. Though if anyone were going to do it, it'd be Herrick. He's like, oh, no, i got to nail this down. Yeah. <laughs> this, is <laughs> this is my home. This is my home. Yeah. Mm. You can't do that. Can he do that? This is a government <laughs> property. All right, <laughs> All right friends. Uh, so, Zilvana, you're dragging the unconscious tall aside. Yeah. Love just get it. him out of the way. Love it. I love that. There's some some goodness in the world. Yeah. It's worth fighting for. <laughs> all right, so uh, what are you dragging? To stab him. That's all. I'm <laughs> well, I forgot he was unconscious. That's all. Um, can I just drag him to where the other guard is, or close so you, to? You just have, over when you're here dragging a body, friends and for friends and family, <laughs> when you're dragging a body, <laughs> half. So your movement of thirty up becomes fifteen. Ah, all right. So I'm just gonna just. Essentially, you know. Yeah, if you if you back up like two spaces, so he would go like ten. So that would be honestly, 10, you wouldn't believe how there. hard it is to drag a body. Yeah. I mean, last week, when that guy came around, oh, I probably shouldn't <laughs> say no more. Oh yeah, no, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Buy up and lie, everybody. Yeah, right there. I'm gonna put him right there. Let's <laughs> get a pig. Let's get a pig. Get a pig. Pigs are adorable. All right. Uh, All right. So you, you're gonna go ahead and drop him there. Lovely. Yep. Mm -hmm. Um. And anything else, Silvana? Um, no. All right. Nope. All right. All right. <laughs> so I will take this friendly reminder to tell you that you do have bardic inspirations, or you, you tapped. Um, I have like one left, and I'm saving it for something good. Dig it. Now you also have that lovely Akurena. Hey, Akurena. What does mm -hmm. that thing do again? I forget. <laughs> it's in the journal. That's <laughs> it. It's in the journal at, at the top. <laughs> if you check the little, uh, little like it looks like a little newspaper. Uh -huh. uh, you can check out magic items, and uh, I don't even know where this is. Um, no worries. No, the, worries. it's the second bubble. It's not not the chat bubble, but the the newspaper up top, next to the mm -hmm. eye. Oh, that's where I'm supposed to be. Yeah, the I journal. Like, journal. And then uh, appendix Ocarina. magic. Yeah, there you go. Okay. What is that going to do? Oh, Bardic Inspiration. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, all right. But I don't know who to, who should I give Bardic like I don't who needs Bardic Inspiration right now. <laughs> well, well, again, it, you don't have to make the decision right now, but that's okay. just a thing that you got in your pocket. So if you see people struggle bussing or okay. Know. All right then. So got it. Uh, Flynn, Dolf Dorf Flinger. Um, I might own up to that name right now. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, let's see. How far is Herrick from me? 5, 10, 15 feet. All right. Uh, Herrick, you want to go for a ride? I don't know what you mean. I'm looking for spiders. He's I, need, I, I, need, I, need, I need a I need a yes from you so I can get you out of this out of these spider webs. <laughs> he needs consent. <laughs> He's got no idea what you're okay. on about, but it's just oh, yes, nice. of course, whatever it is. Gotcha. So um, Flynn is gonna like take a take a fighting stance, <laughs> gather up all of his mental energy like into his hands, and like use uh, my telekinetic movement to push Herrick the rest of the way through the webs. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, so with that telekinetic push, Herrick, make a dexterity. Because oh, because he's I need not to in control. If I choose to fail it. Or? No, no, because because here's the thing: like, you have to make the dexterity throw to get through the rest of the webs. Oh, okay. And he's helping you out, but also you now have no control over whether or not you're going into a spider web or not. So, hmm. The question is, do I want to award you for doing it, uh, or do pretty, I want to punish uh, Herrick for doing it? It's a pretty uh, smart play. Mm. It's a smart play, but it's also a terrible idea when you're being pushed into spider webs. It's like, 
These things are incredibly sticky. Let me shove you harder. <laughs> <laughs> Saturday night, y'all. I mean, I'm at the um, bottom of the stairs. But you know what? Go. But you know what? I love, I love, uh, I love ingenuity in my players. So you go ahead and uh, roll, roll. You know what? Roll your deck save, Herrick, and I'll have you add. You can add a D4 to it. So not advantage, but D4. No, posh. You you got it. Okay. So with that. Oh, so oh, I'm sorry. No, it's not a D4. Um. Uh, Flynn, what is your what is your psionic uh, dice? Uh, it's a d6. D6. Roll a d6, and he can add that in his movement. Thirty twenty. Dig it. All right, love it. So okay, obviously you, you get so with that sixteen, you you are able to like you feel the push coming from behind you of the psionics. So you're like whoa, whoa 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 whoa, and so he's starting to push you through the webs, and you're able to actually get a little bit more uh, uh, footing underneath you. So as you scrabble through the webs. You are able to then break uh, to the top of the stairs here, if you so wish. Actually, uh, what's, yep. the, what's the distance on your web push? Uh, on your web push. <laughs> yeah. 30 on feet. Psionics. 30 feet? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So, yeah. So, uh, Herrick, like you, are, you are immediately, like, you're at the, I think you're at the top of the steps at this point, yeah? Yeah. Uh, and it's at that point that a couple of held actions are going to go off. Oh, no. <laughs> you, you ass. <laughs> Yeah, Are you yeah. trying to move me or am I trying to move? There we go. Alright, so let's see here. That is... Uh, a, will a 21 hit you? Yeah. Alright, alright, alright. And then... Uh, and then I imagine... And then, and then I got a crit from the other one. But yeah. unfortunately... The damage on these is just absolute garbage. That's three crits on me in this combat. Yeah, right? Okay, so uh, the, your total damage for the, from these heavy crossbows is going to be six total damage. Wow. I'm embarrassed. That's that's just shameful. Ow. All right, so Eric's at the top there, and like immediately two crossbows. But by the grace of the goddess or god that he follows... Like they find their mark, but just barely. Oof. Okay. That, ow. <laughs> ow. Ow. Uh, ow. So I still have movement left. Um, you do, Flynn. You do. Yeah. So I'm gonna. Um, can I stow my weapons and, and pull out something else and move? Stow your weapons, pull out something else, and move. Uh, yes, you have the dual wielder feet, right? I do. Yes. 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 Okay. You're able to draw and then also sheathe like two weapons within the same time. So and to draw a weapon and yeah. So you good? Do you think? Okay. Cool. 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 I'm gonna um put the rapiers away and pull out my hand axe, the one I have See, left. Don't, don't don't chalk me that up to me if I fudged it. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna and I'm gonna start going towards. Uh, towards this. My idea is to try to cut through what I can with this hand axe. Okay. Okay. So you're gonna try to slash at the um. Okay. 10, 15. Well, maybe we'll see. And that's a dex going into the to the webbing. Yeah, so it's a dex saving throw to get in, uh, to to try to make your way through the webbing without getting stuck. So Are you crawling you in there too. I am. Can't set it on fire if people are in it. A yeah. fourteen, however, it does not beat the DC. So you are currently restrained, my friend. Ugh. Burn it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You said it. <laughs> so for those all of I you, needed. Yeah. <laughs> that, 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 I, need, I just need consent. Uh -oh. <laughs> so, uh, restrained creature speed becomes zero, and it can't benefit from any bonus to its speed. Attack rolls against the creature have advantage, and a creature's attack rolls have disadvantage. It also has disadvantage on dexterity saving throws. Yeah, well, it's, a, it's a sticky situation Flynn finds himself in. Blum, blum. Right. Burn it! Uh, <laughs> uh, and on that note, let's see here. So I want to make sure that I'm using. I want to make sure I'm using the right thug. So you got the right thug, baby. baby. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> it's a song for everything. <laughs> uh, oh, absolutely. This is why you're the bard. Yep. <laughs> All right, dig it. So uh, Zeke is going to move forward and attempt to 
Heat Herrick. Uh, he draws his mace and takes a whack at him. That's not nice. And that attack is a six to hit. Oh, and now we're back to normal with my thugs. Good, yes. good. That's that's pleasant. So I imagine a six won't hit you, Eric. That's correct. His stunned silence tells me absolutely not. All right. So uh, I did reply. Professor, you didn't hear me. Oh no, I didn't hear you. I said that's, that is correct. No. Okay. Good. I thought you were just mad at me. All right. Uh, so, but <laughs> be before we get into further that, is Flynn where he is, or is he one step further forward in the webs? Oh, Flynn should be one step further forward into the webs. Okay. Into the webs. It it could be. Uh, there we go. Material gotcha. to things Thank that you. are coming up. Oh. All right then. So, uh, Professor, you're up. Uh. Well. He said, "Burn it." <laughs> Burn it. Burn it to the ground. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm going to step forward and just produce flame and lava produce flame. If I get it past Flynn and burn the stuff that's in front of him, I will try to do that. So there's no, so it like, it is like the wall to wall. The other, so like, I would be, you know what? If you want to try to roll for it, to try to like throw it past him, yeah. into, like past the webs, it's going to be a dex save that I would even Flynn would be impressed with. All right, uh, dex save or a dex check? What do you uh, give me? Give me an yeah. Give me a give me a dex check to see if you can throw it because your produced flame is only. F what's the range on that? Uh, the range is. What's the damage on that? Uh, what the. Why does it not say? I can the range throw it up to, up to yeah, it, it's up yeah. to 30 feet. The, okay. How far you can far throw it is up to 30 feet. Okay, okay, so you, so, right, so you, you can take out one five foot patch of it. It's, it's gonna be the patch that Flynn's in unless you roll really high for this dex throw. Okay. I was hoping if Herrick could run through it, I could. That is not high enough, so. All right. Uh, oh. That your eleven is not high enough, so it, like you, you do you throw it like as you chuck it, it hits the hits the wall to Flynn and does. What is the damage on your produced flame? It, it rolled it in. Uh... Oh, oh, well, I'm gonna use. Did it I'm come over? Use... There it is. I, okay, so, gonna... so that's five damage. I'm gonna do protective field. Uh... Yeah, yeah, I would, I would. Okay, so the protective field goes ahead and whoom, kind of comes up and around. Yeah. All right. Actually, so, the, so the flames all around you catch, uh, and as it does that, that's going to take. So you, you're actually, it's going to produce an additional two d four. So you, what, thank, thank you. It's uh, so that's an additional four flame damage as the webs around you start to burn. So that's a total of nine fire damage. Your protective field cancels out. Four of it. Four of that? Okay, cool. So five total fire damage. That's fine. It looks metal as hell, so I'm with it. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. What does your protective Hiya. field look like? Uh, Just like a bubble, because um, like it's, it's just reactionary at this point, so I don't know how to shape it. So it's like... Bloop. I love it. I love it. Does it look like a disco ball? Like like you'd be I dancing in there? Ball. Ooh, oh, oh, <laughs> it might later. It does now. It does now. Hello. Retcon. All right, um, Professor, anything else? Uh, no, I'm just going to say, Flynn, get down. Is, is, <laughs> oh, that, that's a good question, actually, is did the, uh, is Flynn now free or is he still restrained? So uh, he's. Ooh, good question. Like, did I just damage the webs where he's at, or did I so let's see here the, incinerate? It, so them? The, the, it will take out the it'll it'll take it out in one round, which I would say would allow Flynn to move freely on his next turn. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm well, gonna finish my movement just by taking a step back, just to let other yeah, people. Yeah, that's fair. Play. Anytime you light somebody on fire, you might want to step back from them. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> what me? <laughs> you just you back said, around the corner. You said go. I'm just Stay saying. Stay over there, Bernie. <laughs> Bernie. 
Lord. Uh, With that, Xander, you're up. Okay, quick question for you. The the stairs here, this square that's at the top of the lower stairs. Yes. Is that the same as this square here so i so i was equating the that top step with like basically it's like it this step goes this step goes off and then you immediately then reappear here at this step so where this step is is actually this stone right here does that make sense uh it does okay um one two three four I was just, I, I was, I guess I'm just looking at how, at the building construction and I figured that one, two, three, four would equate to this hallway over here. What's that? Oh, you're saying that this one, two, three, oh, cause you, you think it's directly underneath the building? Yeah, and, and I, I, it doesn't really matter. I'm just trying to, I have a, I have a, a movement um, strategy oh. here. Yeah, and I just no, want to no. make sure that I I come up in the right place. No, I, I hear you. I hear. You. I was I was I was having this. So this this stairwell here is so like that's where Flynn's at, and then that's ten feet, and then this then starts the next ten feet. So the stairwell continues on from the from the dungeon. I see. So when I step into this square here, I'm actually here. on to those. Okay. Exactly. Yeah. That's if that's not clear as mud. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. 10, 15, 20, 25. If I were standing in this square just south of Herrick, could I attack Zeke? Um, yes, you could. He, he, he has the high ground, but yes. That, that, that's only in movies. Um, <laughs> uh, would I be at disadvantage or would he be at advantage for anything? Um, I mean, he has advantage, but that's not from, um, that's not, that's, you, you, there's nothing you can do about that. So, um, why does he have advantage? Oh, um, well, you'll find out in a hot second. But. All right, fine. All it's, right. It's, a, it's, it's a thucky thing he gets. I see. Uh, sounds like some trifling ass shit. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so five, 10, 15, 20. Hi, Flynn. Uh, I will. Now, are you trying to move through the, the spider webs? No, I'm trying to remember why I thought that I would do two bonus actions in the same round. Um, so uh, <laughs> I'm assuming I can't do that. Uh, so f I'm going to this is 20 feet of my movement to here. And I am going to face step. Oh, uh, right. right to here. And then can I take this diagonal? Right, now, 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 now chat with me here. So the phase step allows you essentially like Misty Step, correct? It's Misty Step. Yeah. Okay. Dig it. Dig it. So what do we see when we see Xander sort of take that? He steps forward. <clears throat> like almost. I right step forward. I say, hi, Flynn. And then it's it just disappear. And there's just just a, a scant handful of snowflakes that that kind of fall down where I was and uh, suddenly I appear right next to Herrick and then I'm going to take five feet of my movement to move into that diagonal. I would say, I would say to cross across like that it mm. okay, uh, can I spend 10 can I spend 10 feet make it difficult terrain yeah yeah I would say that I would say that it just it's seems rather foolhardy to have you cross in front of uh, an engaged fight which is already sort of like going on um, for sure, for sure. Um, I will do that, and then I will make an attack on Zeke. Because your face step is a bonus action, and therefore you've still got your action. Correct. Okay, okay. Uh, and so I said, hi, Flynn, and I popped to the top of the stairs and said, hi, Herrick, and oh. uh, now I'm going to take an attack on Zeke. Zeke, love it. Pudsy elf. With your two. <laughs> a seven, unfortunately, is not enough to hit Zeke. So as as you sort of like step in and, and like that that extra struggle bust that Xander had to kind of do to get across the space that he was doing, just like Zeke was able to clock it quick enough that the rapier comes up and he whew, dips out of the way of it. Yeah, I would like to think that he is like 
super surprised that suddenly I'm up here and not covered oh. in webs. Oh, absolutely. I, even Herrick's a little bit like, what? I, and then Zeke's also, what? Hey. <laughs> All right. All right. Speaking and, then, of- and then I'll say, Flynn, get up here. <laughs> Move your ass. All right. Uh, at this point, Piper is going to come forward and she is going to make the attack against uh, the recently appeared Xander and swings that mace. Swings that mace again. Uh, a 19 to hit. 19 Ooh. unfortunately hits. Yeah, all right. That That's eight bludgeoning damage. Okay. And then her uh, second attack is a 16 to hit. Uh, that's going to be a roll off. That's a roll off. Okay, then let's let's do it. I roll my d20, and Piper rolls a 15. Buddy rolls. Oh, oh man. No. Oh, oh, so close. No. So that is a homebrew rule. No, that's a rule for my games. It's a contest uh, when you go ahead and both, when you match the armor of the AC of a creature or a, a player uh, character, you then have a roll off to see if like the armor manages to hold at that last second, or if the weapon just manages to find a nice little divot in the armor to go through. Fortunately, unfortunately, Piper was able to find that divot and uh, Xander takes six more bludgeoning damage from the mace. Oof. Oofta. Yeah, that's, uh, I, I have made a, a terrible choice in coming up here. Things were <laughs> much better in the dungeon. <laughs> and I have I have made an error. All right, oh, uh, Herrick, you're up. Herrick looks, uh... Well, so instead of healing myself, I've now got to heal you. (laughs) And clutches his amulet and whispers a prayer to uh, his god and a 30-foot radius um, aura surrounds me for Twilight Sanctuary. Nice, 30 foot aura of Twilight Sanctuary. I love it. Okay, so Twilight Sanctuary. And that actually has Flynn encapsulated in that as well. Yeah. I believe so, right? Uh, obviously, I will take the temp hit points. Does that at least give me something? So that is five temporary hit points. And obviously. Is that for everybody or is that just for you? That's Eric? for me. They get to choose themselves. Oh, it's on, it's on our turn, though, right? Unfortunately. I believe so, yeah. Um, All right, so, and then what are the options for that, Herrick, for your Twilight the, Sanctuary? The, the sphere is centered on me. It's filled with dim light. The sphere moves with me and lasts for one minute or until I am incapacitated or die. Whenever a creature, including myself, ends its turn in the sphere, you can grant the creature one of these benefits, which is temporary hit points to be uh, to end charmed or end frightened. So that. Um, so that is my action as an action All right. um, as a bonus action obviously my spiritual weapon would still be at under, underground uh, I will what? then raise his hand I... up so he comes the spiritual weapon comes through the floor as it's tutorial. <laughs> uh, will probably come behind Zeke alright so as it an comes example. through the webs and... and we'll try to shawak someone Roll that shawakin damage. Shawaka waka. Spiritual oh, weapon rolls a twenty-four, which is hey. a hit. Does, oh, well, does spiritual weapon get flanking? No. No. Well, even I mean, it hit, so it's it's fine. Maximum and, of twelve force damage. Oof! Nice. You're having some crazy damage rolls tonight. I've already rolled right? maximum, which is great. Oof! Yeah, Zeke does not like that. He's like, what? Hey! All right. Holy street. All right, Herrick, anything else? Uh, that's it for me, I believe. All right, yeah. Feriel, back to the top of the order. Well played, party mine. Okay, so knowing what I know about this fellow, here. Do yeah. I know anything about this darkness? Like, do I know if it's just darkness or if it's dangerous? So, knowing what you know about who you are and what you do, uh, you are very intimately familiar with this type of darkness and have seen it on many occasions. 
so is that a it's dangerous or not <laughs> uh say uh you would you would know that it, this isn't dangerous per se but you also know that there is no way you'll be able to see in while you're in it right yeah it's just dark yes it is the darkness okay <laughs> and also is he like floating or i'm did i miss that no 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 he is he is he's he's on the walkway across the way on the second floor so Okay, because on my screen, he's not on the walkway. He's like oh, in the middle of the room. Is he in the middle of the room? Oh, no, no, yeah. Uh, on the second floor? Yeah. Yeah, he's on that walkway. Yeah, he's on the walkway for, for me. Yeah, too. you might need yeah. to reload roll 20, Amy. Okay, I'll worry about that in a minute. Oh, oh, oh God. That he's would be definitely tough. hovering like here. He's, like, he's right on my beside screen. you. All right. So. That's okay. Hello. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to um, follow along the wall just straight into the darkness. Excellent. Um, because the window here, Do I'm assuming that everything yourself. below is still lit up and I can see into this room. So in order to, to do that, you'd have to find a way to like lean out of the window. Yeah. All right. All right. Can I, Dig dug. So can I, you, I, I love that. So uh, moving into there. So that's what, what, your five, 10, 20. Yeah. Yeah. You're able to do that. So as you do that. And then I am just going to fire down again on okay. um so all right all right excellent so you lean I out the window that's, yeah i think that's zeke i'm gonna fire down on okay roll your attack 23 23 is a hit nicely done roll your damage mm. 18 all right uh that what well, so if you're going to attempt to sneak attack, you have to hide. He's she, engaged with Xander. Oh, you though. are correct. Absolutely. Yes. She, she's she's also hidden in magical darkness. So Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's engaged with Xander and Herrick. No, so she's it, not because she fine. had to lean out the window. Oh, yeah. true. He's oh. engaged with both of us. That's uh, But that is true. She does get advantage because she's currently engaged in the melee. So that 18 will handily uh, deal with poor, poor Zeke, which I... Oh, nicely done. So that's 18 damage. So boom, Zeke goes down. Sweet. And then question. Answer. Herrick's thingy that he did. <laughs> yeah. Will that reach me? Because it's 30 foot radius. Yep. If I hang out. It's... Yeah. No, yeah. Oh, that's radius, it. It's so I don't know. Yeah. Is it is it a sphere? It is it a like, sphere? It's a sphere. It's a sphere, yeah. So that's because, that, but it's and it's thirty feet from a you, right? So that's of twilight five, ten, yeah. fifteen, and it's thirty right? foot so radius. Yeah, so, so thirty foot radius all around me. 15, yeah. on, fifteen on either side, right? So, mm -hmm. and then I imagine it's fifteen up. Ceilings yeah. are no, it's fifteen up from the uh, radius, not diameter. Oh. So it's not 15 each way, it's 30 each way. Oh, it's 30 each way? Then yeah, it's I would say 30 that, to uh, foot diameter, uh, radius, goodness. Yeah, so I would say the 30 foot would definitely reach you. Okay. Would you... Um, is the, this window, is it floor to ceiling or is it like a ledge? Floor to ceiling or is it like a ledge? Uh, I would say a ledge. Okay. Then I'm going to drop down into the darkness. Okay. And stay where I am. Okay, got it, got it. So you are currently hiding. Yeah. What do you cool. take? Roll. Hit points. It's 1d6 plus 3. Okay, take it. Uh, all right, it is so, now. Hey, do I need to roll stealth? Um, n no, not yet. <laughs> Okay. So, because then, you're in the because you're in the darkness and the darkness is currently being maintained. So, yeah. I'd, okay. I'd and then what, do I need to roll for Herrick's thing? Yep. One d six plus three. Okay. One d six. Two mini screens. Two, six. Nice. Okay. So that's nine temporary hit points. Is that right? Nine. Nice. Now, Herrick, do they get to? Do they, they once they roll their temp hit points? They, do they get to re-roll their temp hit points every turn or every they round? Them? Yeah, and if they can, if they beat it, then great. If got they it. Spent got it. it. 
So if they, they can always... That's interesting. Wow. Yeah. I, I mean, it's, it's really, really good. Broken. Great. Clerics it's, are broken. Yep. That is just crazy OP right there. All right. But, all right. Uh, awesome sauce. So now it is the drow. Uh, oh, unless, uh, Fairy Owl, you have anything further? Nope. That's me. Okay. Love it, love it, love it. So from there, let's see here. The drow is going to go ahead and actually take aim at Herrick what? and fire his crossbow. Unfortunately, he rolled a crit fail. So uh, that's an eight. So he, uh, as he goes to fire it, it like jams for a second. He's like, oh, fast I, th I thought I heard a crossbow an, uh, string break. Yeah, so you, you hear you hear an under common uh, uh, fairy. You hear a, a very particular under common curse. Uh, something about the whores of a mother. Um, <laughs> wow. Uh, and so he is then going to go ahead and. Just don't like the dwarf. Yeah, right. All right, so uh, he, yeah. All right, so he, he moves off. Um, and up next is going to be Zulvana. Me, okay. Um, so I'm gonna kind of shove past Flynn and come upstairs. Okay, roll me a dex, Dave. <laughs> All right. Dex saving throw. Dex saving throw. Trying to burn this web. <laughs> I thought you already burnt the damn web. You, no, it's you, still you there. Burnt five <sighs> feet of the damn web. There is well, this web. But, um, you are now restrained that. inside the web, a uh, scant five feet ahead of. Flint. Wait, I thought it was. I thought it was already burnt. That's why I did it. Never mind. I know. I know. Choices uh. were made. All right, so Zilvana is here and currently trapped inside the uh, the web. <laughs> uh, I didn't, why? I didn't understand. That's all right, so. I'm sad now. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah, yeah, that's real. I could see that. Uh, now I'm just going to get burnt. I mean, no, I can't light everyone on fire. Well, it's um, not everyone. Herrick and I are upstairs. Oh yeah, good point. You're fine. In dire straits, needing help. Um, but you can um, still see us. Is there lot. anything I can? Yeah. Um, anything? Can I if do you anything else? Give me inspiration. I can heal myself. There's also. Um, All right, I'll do I mean, that then. I'll play have, the. Do you have any game. spells left, Sylvana? Um. Mm, or are you gonna play the thing? I was gonna play the thing. <gasps> play the thing. Should I play the thing or should I? No, no. Well, I don't know. Okay, I'll play the thing. Hey, it's a, it's a dire moment. Play the yeah. thing. <laughs> play the thing. Oh wait, now I have to figure out how to play the thing. One second. Ooh. How do I even do that? <laughs> it's in my bag. How do I? Where? So, uh, just like uh, just like any other uh, magical or or or, or um, instrument, you would know uh, how this. How, how this instrument works. It's an ocarina. So, uh, let's see. I, was, I, I suppose I, I was going to ask if you had a proficiency with such an item, but I believe in you. So, with the Ocarina of Inspirations, I need you to go ahead and roll me a performance check. Ah. I know where that is. Um, I say it's, it's ski, uh, skis? It's skills under P. Nice. With the DC 15, you are successful. So everyone within 30 feet, if they can hear you, gets a 1d6. I'm sorry, up to three allies within uh, 30 feet gain 1d6 inspiration die. Cool. So does she, does she dole that out, or do we? She just does fight indeed for it? dole those out. So right. the, the, the the three allies you wish to have the d6 inspiration are Herrick, Xander, and Flynn. Herrick, Xander, and Flynn. All right, Herrick and Xander and Flynn, you have a D6 uh, Bardic Inspiration die. And remind, remind me again what that can be used for. Yeah, does that, is so, that the same as what she can so, dish out? 
So with the School of Valor, you can go ahead and add that to your damage, okay. as well as an attack or, or an attack roll. Oh, hey, um, you can also, uh, her, uh, um, Herrick is correct, in that you can add it to a healing roll as well to get a little extra boost on those healing magics. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, it's 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 pretty kick-ass. Valor School rocks. So, uh, well done, Zelvana. Anything Yay. else? Um, well, I was, mm, I was gonna, can I, can I do like, um, like a prestidigitation to see if I could like light a fire <laughs> or something? <laughs> the funny thing like, is, is prestidigitation can be used to light a bonfire, like a, like a campfire, but can yeah. it be used to burn a magical web? I would have probably said no. Well, I was just gonna like light it around me just to like. Be, so, like, but here's the thing: is that web, stay away. Webs are flammable. Yeah. Oh, okay, fine. So, and so, it, yeah, you could absolutely like go press the digitation. How? Do but it. I would burn my. However, shit. you are gonna. <laughs> You're prestidigitating yourself, which okay, never mind. Do it. If you don't do it, Nate's gonna burn you up as well. So I mean, it's, yeah, it's it's either it's either you do it or or Nate does it. So. Um, I'll have Nate do it. I can't do it to myself. Okay, <laughs> it's been a while since I pressed digitate it myself. <laughs> exactly. By a lot more. Presto digitation. Presto digitation. All right. So, All right. Uh, Lord. All right. Anything else, <laughs> No, I think I'm oh. done. Oh, Lord. <laughs> it's turning into a hot witch in here tonight. All right. So, oh, uh, I just found more bardic inspiration, so that's exciting. Well, that's good. Flynn, you're up. Wait, how did you find just, that? Just found it. Just on the ground. Hey, guys, look. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking in the wrong spot, so I have more bardic inspiration than I thought I did. I was looking at spell slots instead of bardic inspiration slots. Uh, yeah, I say bardic <laughs> inspiration is different from your spell slots. Absolutely. Now Flynn, I know. The door flinger, you're up. No, it's all right. Zavala, you want to go up? Yes. All right. (laughs) (laughs) Bubble ride, bubble ride, bubble ride. Uh, Yep, for the second time, just going (laughs) to. Can't you shove yourself up there, too? I can't. Not yet. Like, to to, to move myself is an ability I don't have yet in its shenanigans. Uh. Uh, like, I should be able to. <laughs> like, like Swiss Army I'm Man. I'm a really just, like, creature. Yeah. Just, like, blast, like, fart your way out. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> do I have to do a, anything? Yeah, so I need you to, uh, I guess, roll. Yeah, roll me a. Because yeah, no, because you didn't press the digitate. So roll me that deck save again. See so if you can get yourself okay. out of that situation. And then. Plus my side add, die, Sonic you die. Add the 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 side die to it, which is good. What's that side die? Uh, six. A d six. Roll that d six. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. He is able to shove you. Uh, let's see. It's thirty feet. Yes. All right. So yeah, he's able to push you through. Uh, movement. So you're able to get out of the webs. Yeah, because that's five. 10. Yeah, so you, uh, Zilvana, you wind up uh, just here on the steps next to Herrick. Sweet. Oh, hello. Hi. We're both sticky. (laughs) 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 As I touched him, you're like, ew. (laughs) Uh, I did an accident. All right. (laughs) Um. I guess with my free hand, I'm gonna pull out a torch and, and how do I light it? Can I just like strip an action? Yeah, so that's go- that's going that's going to take an action to like sort of like pull the torch, get the thing lit, boop it a boop. Um, but well, I'm just gonna hold it then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sort of look look meaningfully. <laughs> by Professor, by light my torch. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I'll hit it on the way by. <laughs> Please I'll don't just, like, light me on just, fire. Just stand right. and hold it like this. All right, you good, Flynn? Yes. All right, lovely. So you our, get our hit points, Doug. If you want them, temporary, Me? Hit, temporary hit points. Yeah, you and uh, yeah, Finn, so. if you want them. That's exciting. Wait, how do I? D six plus I, three. A, a D six plus three. Yeah. All right. So my remaining thug is oh. going to go ahead. 
an attempt to put a little beat down onto Xander. And Flynn. Uh, a nine to hit. Nine will not hit, thankfully. Nine will not hit, unfortunately. Uh, uh, fortunately, unfortunately, a critical hit will hit. And that will... D- Why does it not show me the damage? Uh, it looks like three... Uh, it looks like eight uh, damage from that critical hit, Xander. And Xander is down. <gasps> Ooh, you got no. So you see Xander drop. As Xander drops, uh, Piper is going to go ahead and take her movement to get the hell out of Dodge. Uh, so that's going to be... She got nowhere to go. Yeah, they're blocking the doorway, so... <laughs> Isn't there another one over there? There is. 5, 10, the 15, hell? 20, 25... Oh, sorry. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, whoop, 30. All right, she's out that dope. All right, so Xander drops. As Xander drops, the professor is up. Uh, I'm just going to throw more fire at this web trying to get through. <laughs> I'm just going to throw more fire, if I'm being honest. All right, throw that fire. Do you want me to roll for it this time? Or can I just throw oh, it? Oh, no. Uh, so it, 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 yeah, so you can literally go. So you, you're looking to toss it behind Flynn, but Flynn yeah. is on. Yeah. So you, yeah, you go ahead and toss it, and it'll do that damage. Oh, let me actually roll the damage, though. Do I need to roll the damage? Um... Yeah. I don't know how burning web works. Just to make you feel good, yeah. No. All right, we'll roll it. All right, two. two. So yeah, so the burnt, so the web catches, and it will Just clear a within. Just bit the, of fire. It, it will clear within one round. So. All right. All right. So now you have a flaming, <laughs> flaming web in front of you yet again, Flynn. Um, <laughs> and Xander is unconscious. Uh, buddy, roll me a death saving throw. Um, where on the sheet do I do oh, that? Oh, so if you if you drop your HP to zero, it's... I did. Sh- so I've got the little skull and the failure. There's a three failure, three success, and death yeah, saves, but I don't get... die next to it if you click on it. Oh, oh, I got you, I got you, I got you. So um, in terms of just rolling for a death saving throw... Uh, yeah, you click on it and it'll be there. Yeah, yeah, you should click on it, it should roll for you. Oh, 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 oh. It just, it didn't have a, it didn't have a finger. No, it's okay, it's okay. I'm I'm very glad to see that you're not familiar with the death saving throws. That means I'm not trying to. Oh no, Xander with a seven uh, creeps one tick closer to the grave. Uh, you have got inspiration if you wanted to use it. Uh, I w- I will do that. Well, I'll use my oh, the d6. d6. Yes, Absolutely, yes, yes. yeah, use it. <laughs> oh my god! god. Oh, oh my god! But the two bringing it up to a nine is not enough to clear. So for a death. Uh, saving I was, I was just going to say, so at the end of my turn, since I am unconscious, am I eligible to receive the temporary hit points? No. Uh, I, no, know. because you have to be able to, like, uh, choose it, right? That's the idea? I, I choose it. So it basically I don't says, know if you can gain them. temporary if you, you have can't to gain, You can't gain temporary if you haven't got hit points. Though. That is an excellent question. Uh yeah, so I, I, I would say record. I would say no. You can't have tip point tip points. Tip <laughs> points. Mm, I've got two. Oh, um, uh, <laughs> you can't gain temp points if you don't have hit points. But that is an excellent. Um, yeah, I just I just wasn't sure process. if it would if it would stabilize me and leave me. And then with somebody one somebody would not. like to clarify that. Holla at your DM. All right then. Um, so yeah, I would say I would say no to those ten hit points, and unfortunately, with that two, uh, you you're nine. So when we do a death saving throw, it's a straight roll of the d20. You can go ahead and add whatever buffs you can, but if you get ten and over, you're okay. Ten, uh, wait, yeah, and then nine and under is a, a fail, right? Uh, yeah, I think it has to be at least a ten. I believe. Yeah, I believe so. Uh, okay, all right. Ooh, goodness gracious. All right then, so, uh, Herrick. Um, I just noticed Silvana cast Healing Word. Did you click that by accident? Yeah, okay. Um, I will look down. I believe Silvana is tapped on her spells. Yeah. I will look down to Zanda. Oh. <laughs> I suppose I can wait another round and I will <laughs> cast Cure Wounds on him. Which is six plus 
two. So it's eight back. Thank you. Nice. Yes, and with that, <gasps> I'm going to say Xander comes back to the world of the breathing for now. And then I like... So that would be an action. Uh, my weapon will go over and give Pippa a smack around the back of the head. Who's that? My... Well, see Pippa. Spiritual weapon. Oh, so Spir 5, 10, 15. Spiritual weapon. Yeah, can you... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, she's through the doorway there. All right, so go ahead and roll that roll that attack. Uh, uh, 16, 16 is a hit. Go ahead and roll your damage. 11. Yeah. Nice. Nice. You're living. Lovely, lovely. So let's see here. Oh, to her, to her, to her, to her. Oh, there she is. Okay, I was like, I know for a fact there's at least one more thug in this roundup. All right. Awesome. So that, that 11 is ouchy. Uh, and right. I... I can hear the twang of Ferriol's bow. So, and obviously, I saw that. I, I take it I saw that drow shoot at me. Well, actually, you didn't see the drow shoot at you because it didn't happen. Like it, he went to shoot, and it ding, and it like didn't oh, actually okay. go off. So, um, I will just so five, ten, fifteen. 20, 25, so I should hopefully still be in a 30 foot radius to everyone. Oh, okay. Yeah, I am, yeah. Yeah, I'll just move to there as my move action. All right, love it. And I got myself temporary hit points. All right. I know I've already got some, but I can better it. Hopefully. Does the sanctuary count as an action or a bonus action to do that? Or it's is it just, just every round just now? I, I used an action to summon it. To, to cast it, but that's it. Yeah. So I get oh, an extra lovely. one. Lovely. You have one to concentrate time. to keep it active? Nope. Um, I've, yeah. No, I've just got to be alive or I can't be incapacitated or die. But it's, yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a channel divinity. It's a channel so. divinity. So. That's ah. That is. That is. Yeah, that's me dumb. Great. Love it. All right. Uh, Fariel. Okay. I'm going to head back upstairs. Okay. Okay. So. So you feel your way along the wall back up to the top? Yeah. All right. So, 5, 10, 15 puts me here. Thirty puts me here. Um, is this door open or closed? Uh, it's it's closed again. Is it locked? I uh, say uh, it's not locked, but there's a like he's he's up against. Who's there? It's me again. What? Why you keep leaving and coming? Is everything all right? No. What? Well, Let me what? in. Why are you here? Oh, fine, 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 fine. He opens the door. He's like, What's going on down there? So. I'm now in my bonus action dash in my movement. Okay, cause, okay. Because that was as far as I could get. Um, Got it. I'm going to just look at it. Whose side are you on? What? Uh, I'm on my side. Who's, whose side are you on? All your pals downstairs have turned and are attacking. Whose what? side are you on? What? I mean, I, I stand here to defend the speaker. That's my job. Look, look it, the captain paid me. Look, here I am. Can I inside check him? Absolutely you can. Eleven. <laughs> I mean, he seems too dumb to be clever, so. <laughs> you're cute, but you're stupid. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sweet. That's, that's the name of Ryan's first album. <laughs> <laughs> Mine is nice hair, hope it wins. <laughs> right. uh, well, anything else, I'm just going to tell him hold this door and sound the alarm if anyone approaches that's what I've been doing well keep doing it and you... pay attention and you get <laughs> locks eyes on the door that he, as he closes it and I'll just finish out the rest of my movement moving toward this door um, 
and I'll assume that that conversation and inside check just took up my action. So Absolutely. Be it for yeah, me. between the between the, the the dash, the inside check, yes. Yeah, yeah. Nowhere near as action packed as some of this, but still very helpful. All right, so the drow is moving. The drow is on the move, and is going to probably murder the crap out of this guard. Survey says, yup. So, another one bites the dust. Mm-hmm. Have to audit those rolls later. <laughs> 19 and a 22, baby. It's a, it's a CR5 creature. So, what are you doing giving us a CR5 to fight? You fine, you had them, them claw. We're not fighting him, he's running away. <laughs> this, this is, it is true. Or uh, he's headed upstairs to where Fairyel is. Mm. He was already on the second floor, wasn't he? This is true. Yeah, but he has to go around to get up to where oh, she is yeah, to the yeah, third yeah, floor. Yeah. This Fair map enough. is super straightforward and easy to understand. Correct. Uh, DM, who designed this map? <laughs> <laughs> this map was brought to you by the Dungeons and Dragons. The is this the one that came with the module? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Okay, well then I don't feel bad bad mouthing this one because man, this map is garbage. Look, it's it's the good people of look. It was designed by thieves and rogues. Th those are the people who actually built this town. So it kind of makes sense when you think about it. All right. Uh, All right. excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> and it's Sylvana's turn. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, I do indeed have one spell left to cast, and it is healing word. Um, did I want to cast for Xander? <laughs> um, That's because you're the bestest bard ever. Yay! <laughs> Best bard forever. Yeah. Bard forever. Can, so, um, since I accidentally hit it, should I cast it again? No, just she's what you rolled. If it's, I don't know what you rolled. Uh, so. I would say, it, 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 I, say I, would, I would say just go ahead and roll with it. Since, uh, since, you rolled since an eight, you... so I keep it. Yeah. Is is that okay? Roll it. Roll it. All right. Roll it. <laughs> the dice will tell a story. We'll roll a uh, yeah, the, yeah. The, the dice will tell a numerical value. All right. So. Indeed. There we so, go. There Five. Is. Back up on his feet. Wait, who's oh. that for? It was for me. Oh, no, I was already, for Xander. I was already up, but I will take five more. Yeah. Absolutely. Thank you very much. You're welcome. So that is definitely the end of my spell slots. Um, uh, five plus what was that? I see it. Five. It's what? It's a it's a roll of a one plus four. Oh, it rolled a one. Got it. It fell behind my turn tracker. I didn't so see when it. she accidentally rolled, she rolled max. Yeah. <laughs> Three roll. She rolled minimum. It's all right. Yeah, we're gonna have, we're gonna have a a lesson on that later called trifling ass DM stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm, a you know. I'm a friendly neighborhood DM, mind you. There's right. that, and so. uh, and now I'm going to um, make my way over behind. Oh, how can I go? Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. No, let me go. Can I go behind this pillar right here? That way, I'm kind of. Yeah. Totally. Yeah, out of the way, but still behind something. Mm hmm Yeah. I'm there. I done. Uh, you done. Love it. Oh, wait. Um, can I, can I like, pull out my rapier? That way I don't have to do it later? Absolutely, yes. You okay. say drawing a weapon is a free action. Does not cost All right. You. Okay, cool. I'm still going to do that, though. No, dig it. Do it. <laughs> uh, so I always good, love a good rapier draw. Uh, yeah. And Flynn, the door flinger, who is currently the torch holder all right <laughs> um we've we just got that, that last bit of webbing left right yes there's that last little chunk of it's webbing left i thought you just did it no it, so the, the professor wizard. has burned two chunks of it oh, uh Zulvana yeah. was pushed oh, through sweet. herrick was pushed through and flynn is stands a web apart oh, this uh okay yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, so if, if I throw this, this torch into that last bit, it's gonna burn it up, or? Is it is it lit? I'm, I'm gonna light it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna. How do you use your action on I just had this image of you with like a torch on No, like, yeah. I use my action to, to push uh, Zalvana. <laughs> oh, that's right, that's right. Yeah. All right, so yeah, yeah, if you light that torch, you can you can toss it and burn it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. 
Just so the professor doesn't light you on fire? Is that what you're saying? No, I actually trust the professor to light me on fire. <laughs> <laughs> you I, I poor like fool. <laughs> But I will. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stow my axe and like four point on the ground, like uh, like a distance runner sp- sprint start. Uh huh. Because as soon as as soon as that weapon's gone, I'm like bolting up. I love it. All right. So yeah, you you go ahead, light that torch and toss it, and it. All right, dig it. So it it, it catches and goes up, and now the last chunk of flame, the last chunk of web, is a flame. All right. Uh, anything else, Flynn? Um, how long do you have to wait? The, the full round for that to go? It's one round to burn through, but I mean, you can run through it, but it, you'll take a little <laughs> bit of damage, but depends on how crispy you feel like, man. Uh, <laughs> um, wait, uh, I, I got the one, one D6 for that inspiration, right? <laughs> yes, you do. Yeah, I'm yes, running. Yes, you do. I'm running. <laughs> dig it, dig it. He lights it up and he's just, I love it. All right. So go ahead and roll me. <laughs> <laughs> roll me the dex save to get through. Just roll me the acrobatics to get through because it's like, it's on fire. So I just want to see you do something cool. Uh, oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> that, that D6 is not, not going to help with this, is it? Oh no. no. You know what? I, because it's on fire, the DC is lower. Uh, so go ahead and roll that. Roll that, roll that. Do you want to burn the D6 here? You yeah, to- I'm going to burn it. No, I'm going to burn it here. Burn it. Yeah. All right. Burn that D6. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> six on that bardic inspiration die. That is enough. Okay. That that oh, solid. No. What is? <laughs> oh, God's my brain. Uh, that is what? Fourteen? Yeah, fourteen. Yeah. 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 No, that is that is. You're able to like. So how do you how do you get through these flames, a la Flynn style? Um, uh, basically just like run. Um, uh, if if you uh, just like. Uh, head down, ignoring the fact that there's like burning webs like collecting on, on me. Or no, no, do you have a shield? No, no. Shield. I have a shield. I know I have my shield. I'm always wearing it, but I'm never holding it out. Okay, I dig it. I dig so like it. it's it's on, but I haven't pulled it out to protect. Oh, it's me on from your back. Fire. Yes, it's more of a fashion statement. So like, really. so as you kind of come forward, like your foot catches a little bit, and you start to fall, and you're like, oh, sh-. and then you throw your shoulders. You throw your shoulder. Your shield comes up and just pushes right through. So as that. The shield hits the flames, you roll over on top of it, come back up and just keep running like you didn't even lose a second of your momentum. In your head, you're probably like, yeah, 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 that, that's what I meant to do. Yeah, I meant that's to do exactly that. what I meant to do. <laughs> um, and when I make it to the top of the stairs, I'm gonna face away from uh, Zalvana and Xander, cause I'm doing like a cool like anime, like not looking at them, but I'm still smoldering from the fire. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, uh, you it, fucking it, would. <laughs> it like, definitely yeah. looks cool as shit. I don't yeah, 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 it looks it looks clutch. Slow you turn see, around. You see Flynn like emerge from the flames. He's got like his like his rapiers in his hand. He just sort of like puts that Captain Morgan foot up on the steps, and he's just like all superhero posing. <laughs> Dig it. Perfect. All right, all right, uh, Professor, <laughs> you're up. Okay. So. so... The web is essentially gone at this point, correct? Yeah, so the well so the web that Rodney just or that Flynn just started on fire, who Flynn is now a Flynn flinger as well as a door flinger. Um, <laughs> he uh, so it's it's still a burning, uh, and it'll it'll take the round to clear. So you can either take the deck save to get through it, the DC is lower now, but there is the potential for damage should you fail. Damage. Yeah. Um this guard over here at the end of the hallway. What the heck is he? What the heck is he doing? Oh, he has been, uh, he has been like sobbing and like wetting himself the entire time. He's like fetal position, just like. (laughs) If if you remember when the Ganazar Scorcher went off right in front of him, he joined the Brown Pants Squad. Oh yeah, like the Scorcher stopped literally like inches from him. He thought he was dead. He's like, he probably thinks he's dead actually. So. I'll just look down the hallway and just kind of like pull yourself together and then I'll just I'm going to move over and I'm going to sit just kind of flop down on the floor with my back on the wall on the opposite wall as Tal. So he's slumped against that wall. I'm slumped against here. And I'll just say uh, just you and me now, friend. And I will ready a... uh, what should I ready? Let's ready a shillelagh in case he tries to get up or do anything <laughs> I like fancy. It. I like it. From the end of the hall, you hear, I want my mom. 
Oh He's not here. <laughs> <laughs> and Xander. Oh, goodness. Uh, yes, feeling much better than I had been. Um, <laughs> feeling a little down and out there for a little bit. Uh, absolutely. Uh, has anyone seen Fariel? Because I don't know that we know that she. Uh, certainly, I, I wasn't up there. Hang but... out the window and pop off a shot. So yeah, maybe? yeah. So, so it, yeah. Not that anyone was like keeping their eyeballs up, but you did notice that like one of the guards dropped from a, a uh, from the sh- and like looking at the arrow that's currently embedded in Zeke. You're like, oh, oh, we know that arrow. And so if you you can cons- uh, extrapolate the uh, the trajectory to be like, oh, she's around here somewhere. Or is, least, it, is that enough that we that we would that we would know that she might be upstairs? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The, the angle and of the everybody is... knows that the speaker's hiding upstairs. Yes. That yeah. is well, true. right. Okay. Yeah. Um, but, but I don't think you shared like a, I'm going to go upstairs and check on the speaker. No, no, I didn't because I so, was out. We, we, yeah, we, we yeah. were already engaged when that's when that true. Happened. That's true. Yeah, um, you had run in. So we, but kind of seeing your arrow in the body, like your party members know that you're at least, or at least you were in the building at one point. Um, then I guess I will say, damn, I don't want to get up and accidentally fight that drow by myself and die again. Um, I, I will come to this door and and look through to see if uh, Pipper is still in this room. Pipper is no, not in that room. In fact, like that door is blasted and then the next door is also kind of blasted. So as if someone like just busted through it as quickly as they could, perhaps after being struck in the back by a magical double-headed ram axe <laughs> hammer thing. Uh, all right, I, I'm actually going to move to the side of the door then and, I, and through the door, I'm going to yell, Pipper, you goddamn coward! Love it. All right, then. Uh, and and I, w- I will hold an action if anyone comes back through that door, meaning, meaning to uh, rebuff what I had said. I will. Uh, I'll have my swing. All right. That sounds good. Herrick, you're up. Uh, OK, I will rush towards the stairs then to get upstairs towards where Ferio is. Oh, uh, to these stairs here. I mean, can I hear combat going on anywhere? No, you don't. The, so, like, unless you're so, now, to be fair, like, you had just like, running had just happened. We had had Flynn, like, like, kind of come tumbling up and whatnot. Uh, you hear, the like, the sounds of sobbing uh, from the dungeon below. Uh, there isn't any like, clear-cut cracking or breaking or like there's no thudding or sc- sc- cries of pain at least no no so, all, all am these I right in saying that the drow and pippa are in the exact same room because they're obviously on different parts of the maps hmm uh are oh, drow yes. and pippa yeah in the so same sorry yeah so and if looking at the map there oh, that is not what i want to grab oh wicked wicked thing so the, yeah the drow is thou okay um Um, well, Arik knows where Pippa went, so here we go, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Okay. Um, 25, 30, 35. Ah. Here we go to there, and then bonus action will move his magical weapon, uh, his spiritual weapon 20 feet towards him. All right. To the, if you can. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. I, that's it's like you absolutely can. Yeah. You have to do that for him. Um, All right then. Anything else, Herrick? Um, it's the end of my turn. I will roll my d6 for temporary right. hit points, and that'd be me done. Oh crap! We I didn't roll mine, but you, 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 you'd still get it. So. I think you still keep the temp ones that you had before. Yeah, but he he would still get to roll. So I don't have but I don't have any remember to do it. So I don't have any temp hit points. So oh, that's right, you haven't rolled that. Yeah, you would have got yeah. it at the end of the round. So you want to just roll now? So you'd Look, get six. Nice job. All right, uh, Herrick. Anything else? That's me done. Lovely, Feriel. 
Um, first, I'm gonna step over to this doorway and call into Imdra. Okay, what do you say? And just say, Imdra, the guards have turned. What guards? All the ones you hired. I, I only hired the two in this hallway. Interesting. Well, there were, were a whole bunch more who claimed they were also hired by you. They're trying to steal the cauldron. I'm not sure how many of them are left, but what? it's chaos downstairs. Oh, God. Well, I'm not leaving the speaker's side. If you wish to aid your friend, I, I, I would understand, but I'll not leave Prudence. Don't. All right. Is, is, uh, is my man still at the end of the hall? He is. All right. He's nervous. Well, Keep an eye on him. That's a, it's a hard fight, but I, I trust these two. It's a hard fight, says the one that's been <laughs> on the third floor and hasn't broken a nail. And then... Oh, did you almost die? <laughs> <laughs> I was unconscious. So for the rest of my turn, you're going to have to tell me how much of this I can accomplish action economy wise Ooh, i like okay um, <laughs> riddle me this rockstar what you what you, what you trying to do um, i'm gonna, so the rest of my movement will get me to here okay i want to see if there is anything here that i can secure my 50 feet of rope to okay so that i can attempt to go out this window and down out the window and down okay um there's nothing in the hallway itself. If you open the door and look in either of the rooms, there's like desks and chairs. And if you were to like take your rope, like tie it around one of the desks and then like lower yourself out the window, the desk itself would hold you as sort of a ballast against the, the window itself. So as you, you can then lower yourself down that way. Okay, but, how much of that can I get through in this turn? <laughs> you tell me. So you, can, so you can go ahead and open the doors and get like the, the article of furniture sort of shoved up against the wall. And I'll even say that you can start to tie the knot and then next next turn, you can then drop out. Okay, cool. All right, because I like, I like cool things. All right, <laughs> so uh, excellent, anything else? Uh, no, that'll be it for me. Yeah. Dig it, I love it. All right, so Herrick, as you show your dwarfy face, the drow sees you and goes, huh, Cleric, nice to see you. And he fires his crossbow with a 16 to hit. Oh, did he repair it, did he? He did. Oh, I missed. <laughs> and it tings off the wall behind you. He's like, Argh! and you see You're him. really shit at that, aren't you? <laughs> uh, he then turns and Please, five, ten. Not where you're running, you poncy coward. Five, ten. All right, he flees at the beard. All right, uh, as he does that. Oh, did he open the door as an action? Did he? Yeah, so you, as you came in, you actually noticed that the door is open. Damn it. God damn it. Love that. All right. And then. Uh... Come on. Zilvana, you're up. All right. So I'm going to. Um... I'm going to. I'm going to. Wait. Okay. So <laughs> I only have uh, 30 feet for like as far as I can move. Um, but if I... You dash, sleep. you can move twice, twice that. Okay, if I if I dash as well, can I still have like an action of like... No. Doing stuff? Yeah, no? so the dash would take up your action because then you basically say, I'm gonna move my movement of 30 and then I'm gonna haul butt to get the extra okay. 30. Now, certain uh, certain characters like uh, or certain classes like the rogue are able to dash as a bonus action. Okay. Um, however, as a valor bard, you would use your uh, would use your action to dash if you want to get the extra 30 movement. Okay. You could still get but a I bonus would... action. 
Okay. Um, okay, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do that. So five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. 35, 40, 45, 50, um, 55, 60, maybe here, something like that. And then um, I'm going to give some bardic inspiration to Herrick. So I've got 60 putting you almost next to Herrick. Okay. Just the ways in which the rooms are allied, but. Okay. Oh, yeah. Here. Here? Is that better? Right. Val. Okay. Yeah. I'm bad at right. this. No, you can, no, you can go on that side, <laughs> I'd say that. I'd say that's good. All right, so okay. you, and you're going to Bardic inspire Herrick? Yeah. What do you say to him? Good job. Let's go kick some ass. Oh, I'm trying to, but I have to keep taking care of elves. That's fair. Can't we all just get along? Yeah, yeah. right? Uh, Lovely. And Flynn, you're up. Okay. Uh, I, since Xander's the only living person left in this room, <laughs> um, uh, which way? It's shit, man. I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, check out the side door, maybe. Uh, I will do that then. Uh, I love it. I'll go. 5, 10, 15, 20. Burst off the top here. All right. Is the um, music still going? Sorry. The music is still going. And I, I will say, as you burst out the top there, uh, Flynn, you you notice that there's, and I'm going to say this right now, there is a axe beak waiting outside. No, it is not Paul. <laughs> is it Paul's brother? His sister, Paulette. <laughs> yeah. Name is Ringo. All right. <laughs> um. Okay. Um. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh, can I run over to the axe beak? Oh, uh, let's see here. Let's see. Five, here. Five, five, ten, fifteen, 15 20, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty. Well, so that's so thirty gets you there. Um, you can dash over to the axe beak if you want. Uh, but then I can't ha animal handle it if it tries to get frisky. I'm gonna. S you are correct. I'm gonna. I'm gonna stay here. Uh, swap out one of my swords for for uh, an axe and like just hold hold an action. <laughs> for his animal handling axe. <laughs> He's going to hold an action. Uh uh. Yeah. Uh, 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 ow. Ow. No. Um, yeah. um. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. Uh, anything else, Flynn? Uh, no, that's it. All right. Excellent. So uh, we now come to the lone thug remaining. And from here, Piper reaches again into her pocket and goes, no, get away. And she fires another <laughs> another charge from her wand of web. Uh. Both Herrick and Zilvana. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> We're already sticky. Uh. I hate it. Yeah. <laughs> so that is going to be what? 15 foot. So is that, I want that one. <laughs> yeah, right? So fires that. Boom. Both of you are in the web. Uh, so on your turn, you'll need to make the deck save to try to see if you're restrained by it. Um, and Piper is going to go ahead and beat feet. Goes through the door. Take it. All right then. Uh, and <laughs> uh, Professor, you are up as you sit there and slumped across from you as tall. Yep. And I'm just talking. I'm just having a conversation with him. Do you, do you do like, anything listen. to try to wake him up or around? Like, because he's, nope. he's he's been not okay. Okay. So yeah, I don't even I don't even know how I got here. I didn't I didn't even mean to come here. Really, imagine trying to explain that to people that all the pathways to the to the area are. are are closed and you just kind of show up and you're new in town and everyone wants to know what you came from. It's been a lot. It's been a lot. And uh, just trying to keep my bearings sometimes. And <laughs> man, just just rambling on and on and on and on. Oh my God. <laughs> oh man, I feel so bad for Tall when he wakes up. Uh, all right. I could be doing it like 
telepathically, like directly into his brain. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, I had the weirdest dream. It was so rambling. <laughs> Some old guy gave me his whole life story. <laughs> uh, good stuff. All right, dig it. Uh, and Herrick, I need a deck save. Oh, whoa, uh, whoa. Oh, I'm whoa. sorry, who did I skip? Xander. Oh, I'm so sorry, Xander. It's okay. Show me, show me, show me, plan, thug, promise, Xander, there it is. Yeah. Hi. You're real, you matter. Do your thing. Hi. Uh, so, <laughs> remembering now that we've been out of the the fight that uh, the Tempest is still a thing, I'm going to imagine that for the last like 10 rounds, she's been screaming my name in my head. Oh. And I just haven't been listening. Well, you were unconscious for some of that, so that's fair. But Only, only for one round, but like, I last spoke to her when Fariel was coming back. Um, That's true. And she's been, we're going to say that she's been trying to get my attention since then. Yeah. Um, And so I'm going to uh, send her over toward the axe beak. Okay. uh, Just to see, obviously there's millions of footprints and stuff. So that, that kind of won't help anything, but. Right, right, right. um, uh, I'm going to pull up to here. And you know, actually, I'm just going to go ahead and move in with them. 5, 10, 10 20, 25, 30. I'm going to move up here next to the spiritual weapon. Herrick, what can you see? Web. Grub. Grub. I'm walking in the spider web. <laughs> Where's Flynn? I need tossing. <laughs> uh, he's checking out the side door. There's a, a, a giant axe beak out, out the sideway. Is it Paul? Uh, Tempest? Is it Paul, Tempest? It does not appear to be Paul. Tempest doesn't think it's Paul. Oh. It doesn't have Paul's token. <laughs> uh, I miss Paul. <laughs> this looks to be like another token XP. Aww. Aww. Uh, and I think that's, I think that's me. All right, that's you, Xander. All right. Now, Herrick. Uh, it worked last time. <laughs> I'm gonna That's try and go. pile <laughs> drive through it. All right, so uh, roll me that deck save. <laughs> it only worked last time because oh, we had Flynn. <laughs> yes! yes! Oh, you dwarfy bastard! All right, yes. So with your with that 17, you're able to like. Gala. So the dwarf That's with a minus one to deck. 10. 20 and you're able to. So you're able to get yourself. Uh, you can take a five foot movement to get out of the field if you go straight forward. Yes. So where, so, so you take your full movement to kind of like, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Yep. Can I see him? Um, yeah, yeah. If you're looking to do like a, yeah, like a, 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 a ranged attack. Yes, I do. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> oh, Sick and flame. Yeah. Nice. Oh. Guiding All right. Bolt. All right. Well, so let's see here. That's... Yeah, yeah. That, no, no. That, that gonna hit. Crush him. So, uh, go ahead. And, what's, that, what's that damage on that? Is that 25 on that damage? No, 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 no. no, no. Uh, that's to hit. That's to oh, hit. Oh, okay. I was like, holy smokes. Roll that damage. Uh, 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 that is... Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on. I've got... Ooh, obviously... that's not bad, though. I'll That's a, a good six on that as well. From the you roll that inspiration finally. Yeah. Nice, nice. That's, That's twenty-four. That is twenty-four. Oh yes. Years. Nice. Where nice. you going, coward? Oh. I'm coming for you. So that, like, you see, he gets, so he gets like shot in the back and just like drops to the snow for a second, like, like. You just see him go prone. He's just like, oh. That's that was a that was a beauty of a shot. All right. Uh, so yeah, Herrick, what does your guiding bolt look like? Um, it looks like that's a personal question. <laughs> Whoa! It looks like you know, like you see shooting stars sort of thing. It looks mm. like small blue, very sharp crystal gems, like sapphires, just like firing Ooh. out in, as a bolt. Like thousands of them combined into Pretty. one large. That's Deep super cool. Pretty. So yes, I'm 
hiding underneath the hunter. I'll put myself there because I can't see. Uh, as my bonus action, I will move my spiritual weapon up as well. All right. 20 foot. So that's... Make sure I'm on the right layer. All right, so 5, 10, 15, 20. Actually, it'll go directly north. Let's try and cut them off, go through the walls. Oh, okay. So it's going to go, what, 5, 10, 15, 20? Try to go that way? Yep. All right. <clears throat> All right, lovely, lovely. Uh, to be dumb. Top of the order. You hear up. And the axe beak moves off. Comes around the corner. All right. Flynn, anybody watching this thing? All right. Well, I mean, uh, Tempest is for sure. That's true. I'm, okay. So do, you want, do you want to do you want to take a do you want to take our ten minutes here, Ryan? Oh, do, oh I, I was desperately trying to finish this thing, but uh, I. Oh well, yeah. No, if you no, if you think we're close, but y'all are y'all are drawing this thing out, you saucy minxes. Uh, what about you're running away, <laughs> you coward. Yeah, absolutely. You're the one drawing it out. <laughs> Stand still, so we can kill you. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm sorry. I, I forgot I was just supposed to let you murder all the things. Um, <laughs> in fact, murdered all the things, and y'all didn't even notice that, like, the rocks are missing from the corner of the room. Uh, Fariel, yep. Well, they were there until, like, five minutes ago. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Fariel. Fariel. Okay, so we're going. Okay. Yeah. Oh, unless oh, party member, do we want? We, do we want to take our ten now? We are. Uh, we are. Well, we might do it. Finish it. It's not long, is it? We've got a couple of. I mean, I, I'm hoping to get. I'm hoping to get out of dodge, and spend the second half of this thing with consequences. Um, nah. All right, Fairy, what you doing? So Go you have. Window. You were able to secure the thing, like, and then from there you are looking to drop yourself or lower your. Not drop. Not drop. <laughs> to an assassin creed, jump on his head. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then, the so games. you're looking to go ahead. And, yeah, of course it works in the games, because ankles aren't a thing. Um, let's see here. Hey, he takes fall damage, too. <laughs> so let's see here. If we're looking at the town hall, it's two-story buildings. Uh, let's see here. So if you're trying to jump from the top of it, towards, I'd say it's about, that's what, what, like 20, 24? If you're going from the top of the third floor... So what? Story's about 10, so we'll say it's 30 feet up, so you're lowering yourself down. You've got the rope, so you got 50 feet. Easily you can do that. Uh, so, But that's going to be your action to get yourself down to the to the level. Um, And you're down with your full 30 to the ground. Okay. Okay, excellent. Um, I, I would say you have a bonus action if you'd like. So do I have movement then? Uh, your movement was your 30 going down. I thought you said that was my action. No, that would be movement. Well, so to climb is to lower down, so that's 30. Um, hmm. I, but yeah, but it's not just like running. You're, you're like, you have to physically do a thing. You, you got half speed, I think, climbing. Oh, it's, is it half speed on climb? Yeah. Okay, okay. So then what? So, so it, would take, it would take her action to climb. Yeah, so then to get yourself down the 30 feet, it would take the full action to get down then. Okay, so I just have a bonus, bonus action. action left. Yeah, you got a bonus action left. Okay. Which I... It's climbing to movement. Half movement, isn't it? Yeah. And then you can, so do the, you can bonus action bonus to half action move to movement. again. Yeah. That'd be your third. So that'd be your move and Oh, that's your, true. Yeah, since you your got bonus, your dash. And then you could, you'd have an action left. You could take your action to half, dash to get you down to 30, and then you would have an action. Well reasoned. Yes. Okay. Um, right, do so I you're... recognize the axe peak? You don't. Oh, shoot that mother. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all stone cold. Mm -hmm. That's actually what I was thinking. I mean, it's not a terrible... You ain't got no car no more. Because that's bashed. the transportation, right? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to shoot the axe peak. <laughs> All right. It's, so It uh, really is I... Paul in disguise. Oh man! No, don't say that. You know what? If Paul has fallen in with a bad, bad crowd, he, it's Paul time has to, to put Paul down. Then, sorry, <laughs> time to put Paul down. All right. So, uh, Amy, roll attack to hit the axe beak. Is the axe beak surprised? <laughs> He's a little hurt, honestly. That's Twenty-five to hit. Twenty-five is a hit. Roll your damage. Eight damage. 
All right, eight damage to the Axe Beak. Things I thought I wasn't going to have to figure out. All right, so eight damage to the Axe Beak. Love it. All right. And then did... Um, you put a shot in him. All right. Did does the drow it, react it at all when I dropped down? Like, in this uh, close proximity? So the drow... So as you dropped down, the drow had been blasted in the back from, like, Herrick, and as he <laughs> shakes the snow off, looks up over his at, looks up over his shoulder and goes... Ah, oh. uh, shoot, I forgot he Guiding Bolted, because it would have given her advantage on her true. attack. True, true, oh. but he, he he was prone, so it would have been disadvantage if she was shooting, which I imagine... But you're assuming that I was going to shoot this guy. That's true, yeah. that's very true. However, you already shot the Axe Beak choice. Well, but I wouldn't have shot <laughs> Consequence. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I know, I know. I just, <laughs> I, I forgot that he, that he was Guiding Bolted. All right, dig it. So, uh, fairy out. You shot the axe beak. Yes. And uh, so, as as the drow sort of like starts to pick himself back up from being knocked down by the thing, he looks at you and goes, "Ah, another traitor to loath. At least I'm in good company." Uh, and then, God, what does he want to do? Hyrick would have seen that. Uh, so. He five ten gets on the axe beak. Did the axe beak not run when it no, was the axe shot? Beak did not run when it was shot. It's a war beak. Mm. Hmm. <laughs> huh? A well trained axe beak. Yeah, we're gonna test that at some inopportune moment for Ryan at some point. Yep. Ah, uh, <laughs> what was I doing? There it is. All right. Uh, How's the axe beak look after? being hit. I mean, it's it's not looking super great. Uh, well, okay. It it's kind of pissed actually. So, uh, as a as he sort of like go, moves to get onto the axe beak, he turns, fires a shot at you. Oh, dear god, you are worthless, drow. Uh, with a 12, I imagine does not hit. Me? No. No, yeah, I didn't think so. So, uh, he does that and then uh, yeah, he, he goes to he goes to start. He, he then gets up onto the well, gets up onto the axe beak, fires a shot. I see done in it. Yeah, I mean that's an awful lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I know, but mm -hmm. he's yeah, he's and then as as he's sort of on the axe beak, he, so he took about half his movement to get there. He then he's just kind of looking at you, Fariel, and he's just like. And as he's sort of eyeballing you a little bit, he's just like. Kazira? Hmm. You see a smile cross his face as he starts to wheel the axe beak around. Uh, and... Zilvana. I need a deck save. Yeah, you do. <laughs> yeah, just yeah. do what Harrick does. It works. Can I... Yeah, I'm just gonna... I have my rapier out. I'm just gonna like... Aah! And Absolutely. That Roll that deck save. <laughs> <laughs> so you get a shout just I, like Harry. You go, uh, you the web go right across your mouth. You're like, because <laughs> <laughs> that's that's been my deck saves all night. I'm like, I'm and, not going to make it through this. <laughs> and you are, and you, and you are currently restrained. <laughs> <laughs> just like, well. oh, I love it. I love it so much. Um, uh, okay. Uh, so that's your action, uh, bonus action. I mentioned you can't, yeah. I can't really do anything right now. Stuck. Yeah, you're sort, you're sticky. Sort of, sort of caught in a trap. Yeah, yeah. Mm. I can't walk out. All right, Flynn. Uh, yeah. Um, seeing Dax be go around the corner, I'm gonna move five, ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty up to here. Okay. Um. And uh hey, can uh can Tempest carry a hand axe? How much does it weigh? I oh, don't here know. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's think realistically. Can a little snow barn owl carry an axe? I'm having I'm having <laughs> it's not holy grail I'm, flashbacks. It's just, and so, I can't <laughs> like while owls can certainly like pick uh, uh, so 
She has a strength of three. Yeah, but like a hand axe is what, five pounds? Hold on. Maybe two pounds? It's a hand axe, so. I mean, this is what I'm imagining he I have. Yeah, right, right? <laughs> yeah. But my question, Flynn, is, and I know you're gonna say what I want you to say, like, what are you, what are you, what are you doing? What, what, what's your plan here? <laughs> drop, drop it on his head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna wanna like if I if, if Tempest can grab it and then just drop it over the drow. <laughs> so Tempest has the order to sort of keep an eyeball on you like, just shoot the drow. The because it's uh I think it's he's it's probably it's sixty feet and that's as far as his axe can go. Yeah, Five, yeah. Ten. Because, you got, got crossbow though. Flynn, right? Because Flynn is a dex fighter. I dropped it back in the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> you could still throw the axe though, can't you? Just disadvantage. It's 45 feet. It's only 45? 45. 45. You can do it at a dissy. All it. right. That's probably going to be a better outcome. <laughs> be a better outcome. outcome. <laughs> Just I'm hoping I'll be honest. Then to like to sort of flag down Tempest and then sort of like like <laughs> hand her the axe and be like, "Go, little one. You know what to do." It's like, <laughs> 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 <It picks it. laughs> <laughs> the whole one who two yeah like it, it'll be what now? <laughs> okay so the 14 who who are you throwing this axe at the axe beak it's bigger at the axe beak okay it does hit the axe beak roll your damage <laughs> yeah i've got inspiration as well dude. six no i use it to get through the, to oh, the yeah, stairs yeah yeah. Yeah, that, yeah yeah he used he, hey you flexed on the stairs and it looked really cool. Uh, <laughs> all right, yeah. So that axe beak takes that takes that hit. Ooh, this axe and, beak is not looking long for this world. Uh, and and I, I will say that just once again, Z has has hit it perfectly. If you look in the Discord on the D and D memes, it's a perfect example of what Flynn was trying to do. <laughs> <sighs> all right, Flynn. Anything else? Uh. <laughs> No. Yeah, uh, I'll steal myself and get another um, psionic die back. Oh, dig it. So that, that was your bonus action to do that, yeah? Yep. Mm -hmm. Cool. Very cool. All right. Uh, so from there, um, yeah, Piper's going to get on the axe beak. And then from there, just to double check this sort of shit here. Dun, 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 dun. I'm just checking here, friends. Pulling the cart, being from that. All right, so in terms of moving with a mount in 5th edition. It's bizarre. Yeah, right? And unless you have a, a whole train of them to swap in and out, no advantage to moving on your own feet. Uh, or a little bit, not as much as you would think. Yes. Unless, unless you can pony express them. Yes. Uh, you still get... In a combat scenario, you still do get to use their movement. Mm, true. Very true. Right. Right. So with that, the axe beak is going to start to take off, uh, like at a at a lesser speed, but uh, it starts to move off. It's okay. Luckily, it's trailing blood, so absolutely it is. It, so. it should be easy enough to follow. Oh, and she bucked the, the two guys <laughs> off. <laughs> did, they, did they both jump on there? Yes. Yeah, they did. Okay. It is a large beast, so. How yeah, far is it It'd away? be like putting two on a horse. Alright. Uh, okay, so, Axe Peak. Lord, what is happening? Alright. Okay. <laughs> Uh, all right, so they move off, and it is now to the professor. Oh, jeez. Um, I mean, 
we can we can skip. I'm still I'm still narrating to tell down here. I love, <laughs> I love and, it. I'm gonna want to. And say. then when I turned ten, yeah. do you believe what my dad got me for Christmas? <laughs> I wanted a new journal, and all he got <laughs> was a football. God, I hated that guy. <laughs> what I got was a stepmom. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Wow. All right. So, uh, Sander, you're up. Uh, I'm assuming that Tempest will have told me now what has happened with the axe beak being wounded and then. And absolutely. On so and it's like, off. she's like, she's like, oh, it was a magnificent. Fairy Elf fired a shot and then Flynn hit it and it, it, it's, it's bleeding, but uh, running and it's headed off through East Haven. F follow them. Fly very, very high. They could, they could be taking shots at you, but follow, follow, and fly high, and right. follow them to their destination. Yeah, dig it. All right. So she goes ahead and like takes off to the sky. Oh, and then you deleted her. I, um, yeah, she gone. <laughs> and I, I I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna come to the door, but not get in the webs. And I will relay to uh, Herrick and the frozen stuck Zalvana, what Tempest just told me, and that I have Tempest following. All right, brilliant. And Herrick. Can I still see them? Uh, as you like kind of move out? Uh, I'm looking, yeah, I'll move my full 25 out. So five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Can I see them? So Axbeak has a movement. 50. Uh, yeah, you would be able to see them. Yeah, okay. I would say. So how far? What are they like? 70, 80 meters or uh, 70, 80 feet or something? Yeah, we'll say that. Yeah, okay. We'll say, we'll say, we'll say 70. 70, perfect. Okay, yeah, I cast sleep. All right then. So you're a 5d8. Uh, so it's a creature with 20 feet of a point you choose. Okay, great. Starting with a creature that has the slowest current hit points. Each character currently hit falls unconscious. Okay, lovely. All right, so you rolled 18? Yeah. Okay, excellent. So as you, like, roll the 18, you see, like, the axe beak just <laughs> drop. <laughs> oh. And as the axe beak drops, let's see here. Combat uh, is uh, not uh, over. How many oh, hit points has the guard still got? And, and, well, that's that's actually what I'm double checking right now. Uh, and the thug is still up. All right. So yeah. So the about the, the axe beak drops. The drow. You see the drow kind of flip and then like run off into the buildings. And then the thug also kind of like stumbles after, seemingly a, a little bit more sluggish, but still active. Do they make any uh, animal handling checks to take damage from falling? You used, um, to, you used to in third edition and stuff. So coming off a map. <laughs> this is why it's fifth edition. All right. And on that note, Fariel, what are you used to do? How far away are they? So they have they have ducked behind the buildings now, and so they are like eighty feet. But you you have lost sight of them, as the as the the, the axe beak just like collapsed down into the. So snow. the axe beak fell asleep, and they were able to get up and run and hide. Yeah, basically, as the axe beak went down, the drow kind of took a flip off of it and was able to acrobatics it, its way. Uh, the the thug got off the axe beak, uh, didn't get pinned underneath it. Well, actually. Could she still see them then? Because they haven't had their go yet. So those would have been on the floor, wouldn't they? Yeah, they're not able to run off yet. Because that, it's that's where turn. I was confused, because it seemed like they were getting to do stuff that's to make, like turn stuff. Yeah, deck nah. saves ought to be prone, wouldn't they? Or animal handling check ought to be prone, I would have thought. I was say, they, they were able to make that, that throw in terms of like getting off the beak. Um, but they are... I mean, if you want to try to take uh, a shot at them, you certainly can. Let's oh, see what's. I want that it's web 80, wand. If it's eighty, I think that's in range for your short bow, right? It is. Yeah. 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 Oh, she can move. Yeah. And she I can. Say, and I she can, can move, move up to sixty feet and still shoot. Absolutely. So, so do you want? Do, do we want to? Do you want to try to pursue this into the town? Yeah, I do. I'm just debating. Okay. Cool. Um, so, so tell you what. Let's let's take a ten minute break here. And then we'll go ahead and continue this pursuit into the town proper. I'll pull up the uh, the, the city festival map so that we have uh, our run into the town. <laughs> Greetings, adventurers, <laughs> and welcome back. This is Cold Hard Witch. I am the friendly neighborhood dungeon master, otherwise known as the FNDM, and we have been town hall in 
haul Evelyn, and the bad guys are currently hauling ass. So uh, as it stands, we have several party members uh, uh, working their way towards the front of the town hall, which they have just chased, a, a lone drow and lone thug. Uh, out of the town hall, uh, Herrick, in a clutch moment of clerical magicness, uh, put the, their mount to sleep, and as it falls to the snow, we begin yet another round uh, of <coughs> combat uh, with, I believe, Fariel at the very top. So let me, uh, let me go ahead and jump us to the Winter Festival map. This is going to be fun. We're going to be jumping back and forth a lot. I really love that idea. Um, so currently on this map, I believe we have Fariel here, Herrick there. We'll get rid of Prudence because she's not real. Uh, Xander isn't currently on this map either. Neither is the Professor, neither is Zilvana. Flynn, you're currently like up around this corner yon here. Yeah. And none of these guards are real. All right. So, uh, all right. You know, you know we're not on that map, right? You have a player's oh, apologies, apologies. apologies. map. As I'm, well, that's good, because now you're not seeing my rapid fire editing, as it were. All right, so uh, as that's happening, 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 and and now we go ahead and bring the players to the map. Did you? Ah. <laughs> Welcome, friends, to the winter. <laughs> it's the winter festival. All right, no, so. No more pies. Is, is there still pie? <laughs> yeah, is there pie? Oh, God. More pies. All right, then. So let me go with. Uh, Indra is not there either. I hope. Oh, nope. She's out here. How the hell did I get out here? <laughs> it's, <laughs> Jesus, it's cold. Yeah. What? Was, she wasn't there. Uh, uh, just as a point of order, when they, the two shots, the drow, or the big shot the drow has took, did he drop concentration on magical darkness? Magical darkness was dropped some time ago. Okay. Uh, hold on, y'all. Hold on. Ease on down, ease on down the road. All right, so there is Thug, also known as Pepper. Uh, and of course, the... I think they're about there, aren't they? Yeah, you did say that they were only 70 feet yeah, away. Yeah, so Axebeak, Drow, Thug. All right. Oh, oh, well, I was like, that's right. He was there. All right. All right. So, clears mud? Yeah. Is that good? All right. Um, Does everyone have their dance partners? Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah, I don't know if it's good or not yet, but we will let you know. <laughs> yeah, right? Okay. So, they're a little further away. So, I will let's see. Bop, ba, da, bop. They are also missing from the turn order. Oh, right. no, are they? I've still got the drow on. No, I've got them in there. You're just not showing them, then. I I don't see them on the turn order. Interesting. And that's fine. Yeah, I mean, I don't, 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 don't bone the turn order. Yeah, no, dear God, I don't want to do that again. Not twice in one mm -hmm. game. But the night is long and full of DM errors. <clears throat> so, Fariel. Okay, let's see. so first thing I took my full movement. Okay, dig it, which um, is the 30, yes? Yes. Lovely. I'm going to take my action to shoot at Pipper. <gasps> Saucy Minx. All right. 13 to hit. Uh, fortunately, uh, actually, I think a 13 is going to hit because thugs just, yep, yep, 13 will hit. Sweet. Roll that beautiful. Five damage. Five, ow. It just that just feels meaner somehow. I don't know why. <laughs> All right. All right. So ooh, she takes ah, so as Pipper takes the hit, she sort of crouches back down behind the axe beak. She's like, oh, God. All I right. thought they smelled bad on the oh, outside. Yeah. <laughs> this is a Tauntaun moment. And you're taking your your bonus action. Bonus to action to dash. Love it. Love it. Um, Can we can I like yell at the drow? Absolutely. Yeah. Like me, player, I don't know what his name is, but Fabriel knows what his name is. Absolutely, you do. So, uh, so do you recognize him? You said I did, yeah. Oh, I said he recognized you. Yeah. Well, you said I recognized him, too, when he first appeared in the town hall. When he was on the ledge. The you, recognized, ledge. you recognized the fact that he was a drow. 
you didn't recognize the drought. Does that make sense? Like you, you saw said him. He was a familiar figure from my past, which I thought meant I which recognized was a drow, who him was. Which was a drow was. elite warrior. But I could okay, see. Okay, I misunderstood. No, that's all right. I, I wasn't. I wasn't. I was. I was saying that in terms of like the drow society, you're like <gasps> because we haven't technically revealed that to like the but. Um. So in terms of, uh, you know what? I'll tell you okay. what. Uh, give me a give me a perception check. Uh, free. No, like just free perception check. That is twenty one. Cool. That is a twenty one. <laughs> uh, with twenty one, you see before you Duke Dax O'Neil. Who is, of course, one of uh, the party, yeah, uh, one, of, yeah. one of your raiding party uh, that you had thought I, dead. I knew that. I figured yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so you you've moved forward, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So I've done my full movement, but I just want to call out to him, and um, I'll say, "There's no need to run." We could talk. <laughs> and leave it at that. All right. Uh, he is going to go ahead and take his movement, and he'll he'll move right up to you and say, like, why talk when we can dance? And he goes ahead and starts his attack. So he will swing his short swords at you. Oh my God, he doesn't, dear Lord, he sucks. All right, so he does a, uh, uh, so as he like goes to pull his first sword out, he does an unnecessary flourish, which you are not impressed with. So he, he off. scored an eight on that. And then his second attack is a 13, which I imagine doesn't hit either. No. All right, so uh, he is in close with you and you are doing the dance of the drow. All right. Uh, and beat my butt. Zulva. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? More like your feet. All right, so uh, Zulvana, you're up. You're currently in the webs. Yeah, just, I'm just, I just need to get out of the webs, man. Just... Is that like in the weeds? <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, she's out in the webs, that one. All right. Mm -hmm. So uh, roll me that deck save. Oh, uh, God. I need, can I inspire myself? Oh. <laughs> See? I suck at this. So there's a crit fail. Uh, it's not you though. It's roll twenty is punishing us. Yeah, it is roll twenty punishing. So like it, you, you manage to you try to do that Herrick like run through the webs again, and it just you're like, oh, oh. how did you do it? <laughs> yeah, she's like, how did he do it? He's what? All right, yeah, it just doesn't make sense to you. Uh, all right, Flynn, you're up. Uh, yeah. So I I see um I see Fairy squaring up with the the drow. Yeah. Oh hell yeah! I'm booking it. Um full full sprint both swords out um all the way over there Wait, yeah let's, let's see there's no squares here dash 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 and da oh there, there are there are they're just there very are. Light. hang on i can i can oh, okay know, let me go ahead and make your life a little bit easier for that my friends okay Let's well i'll get there the snow makes it hard to see them see the lines but... she's true uh I'm pinging for you. There you Thank go. Thank you. Well, oh, there it is. That's the sound Flynn makes when he gets up there. <laughs> <laughs> this wolf spirit as it comes upon him. I thought that was Jack's beak. <laughs> yeah, the axe beak is dreaming. The axe beak dreaming. Oh, nice. So, Flynn, are you able to, are you able to get up there? Yep. Yes. Take it. All right. Uh, and, cool. and that's you? Yeah, that's me. All right, dig it. So uh, I'll say Piper is going to go ahead and charge. Five, ten. And get right in here with Flynn because it's it's a party and everyone's dancing. Dancing, uh, dancing, dancing. Dun, 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 dun. All right, she's going to swing her mace at Flynn. Two swings, a 16 to hit? Nope, because I got two weapons out, so I'm at a 17. Nice, and a 22. That one hits. <laughs> yeah. Or you take five bludgeoning damage from Piper. Five. All right. Dig it. Uh, and it is going to be uh, <laughs> the professor. And that 
was how I first learned how to count my toes. Next! <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> uh, is there because, anything else, Professor? Uh, I really want to go explore the other, like, Durgar that were all, like, dead in that room. But Ooh. I don't want to leave... <laughs> I, why are there jingle bells? Is that in the game? No. Oh wait, yes, there are. There are. <laughs> okay. Because it is the. I'm sorry. Here, let me turn on appropriate music. We uh we moved away We're from. Still our... listening to the festival. Yes. Jingle Which bells. festival? <laughs> Just hear those sleigh bells jingling. Sleigh uh. Sleigh. Anyway, I want to go check out the Durgar, but I don't want to leave Tal unaccompanied. So I'm gonna take the next few mm -hmm. rounds to drag I, Tal's that was exactly... unconscious body back toward. Uh, where the Durgar came out of. Brilliant. So moving 15 feet. Well, what's your max speed? 20, 30? 30? Yes. 30. So, so yeah. Maybe, moving 15 feet at a time, you're able to drag him back. Drag him. <laughs> so yeah, using my movement and my action to do 30 feet at a time, just going to drag him through that hallway. Dear God, this is this is, this is comedy so, yeah. of the highest order, my friends. Well, let, let me know when I get there, and <laughs> I'll let you know what I'm doing when we do. I absolutely adore it. All right, so uh, with 30 feet of movement, if I go ahead and you monsters make me jump back and forth between maps. Um, so uh, with 30 feet of movement, you're able to go 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 would get you up to the first cell with Klaska in it. Okay. Um, you could, like, get the keys off of the guard. Actually, the keys weren't on this guard. The keys were actually on the guard at the other end of the hall who's crying. So you I'll can- I'll throw him drag. a handkerchief when I go over there to grab Cal. I'm like, would you clean yourself up? I love it. I love it. So, uh, so, all right, so you, so I imagine you drag Tal towards Klaska's cell to try to get to see the Klaska's corpse. No, not Klaska. All the other ones that we fought in the other. Okay, room. great. So you're moving. So you're 30 feet down that way, and so okay. Yep. So you're dragging him that way. All right, Xander, you are up. Uh, since there, since there is a a 15 foot cube of web. Truth. Um, and and uh, my guess is since I know that web is a concentration spell. Since it's from the wand, there's no concentration. It just you lasts the duration. Yeah, you are correct. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and nope out of that since I, I'm not going to try to... burn it! <laughs> as you, as you kind of hear Zalvada sort of quietly, like, like set me free, <laughs> fire, fire. Um, <laughs> well, I, so I, I will do that if I, since I'm not on that map, just tell me, can I shoot the square she's in? So she is catty corner to you. Um, so she kind of like came around the corner, and as she came around the corner, that's when Piper, uh, uh, Pipper fired off the Wanda webs. So she's kind of. Slammed against the wall with the webs uh, around her. You could uh, try, try to do scorchers. Uh, I'm gonna do um, fire bolt. Okay. Yeah, you could. You could fire. Yeah, bolt. I'm not gonna burn my my again as our scorcher on web. You sure? You sure? Yeah. You don't do that? No, I don't want her to take that much damage <laughs> potentially. You put her path right through it and her. All right. Um, <laughs> yeah. So if you want to go ahead <laughs> and use your fire bolt, you could you could you could shoot that at her. Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll try to I'll. Oh, God, this is so bad shooting at your own party member. I will use the firebolt to, to try to burn. Go in the club. It, it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's okay. No, it's okay. I want this. I want this. <laughs> You're still the best part ever. Yeah. And I was and I'll shoot firebolt. Sam play the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, shoot that firebolt. Uh, okay. It's a plus five to hit, but I don't think I have to hit anything, do I? You don't, you don't, but I need the damage. Oh, damn it. <laughs> how, hey. how good is it? The best time to roll a one. That, that's a free clutch uh, roll of damage right there for your friend. Okay, so that one goes off. The The fire itself is 2d4. Oh, dear God. Oh, God. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's bad. Uh, so that's that nine. That could have been real bad. Nine total damage uh, of right. fire uh, as that as he manages and that so Zilvana like the square that you're in is hot and you bothered, um, mm. but it's so you take nine fire damage from that but you are able to start to get yourself free um, if you want to try to like pull yourself out of the room uh, out of the web you can try to back up towards where Xander is. Um, okay. Could I could I assist her with that? Uh, if yeah, if you hang out uh, until yeah. her turn, yeah. Um, uh, so you could try to pull, and then she'll that she'll be able to get out easy peasy. If you try to pull, f if you try to go forward, Zilvana, you'll have to roll another dex. All right. Okay. Okay. So sometimes mm -hmm. the way forward is back. 
All right, uh, and on that note, Herrick, back to the festival map. Uh, All right, okay. it is you, Herrick. We never left the festival map. <laughs> That's right, yeah. Well, I was on the other map. <laughs> what year is this? All right. <laughs> and then I will shoot. How, how bad do either of them look? How bad do either of them look? Yeah. It's too bad. Uh, Ow. Okay, I need a deck save from Pippa. Ooh, deck save. Okay, okay. What is. What did what, you fire? Uh, Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame! Which is, I imagine. Sacred flame! I always imagine that like, uh. What was it like Dazim from Street Fighter? Uh, <laughs> all right. Thank you, Rodney. <laughs> You're welcome. I don't need much. All right, Thug, roll it. Oh, God, she crit one. Oh, crit fail. All right, so, uh, yeah. Crit fail on Sacred Flame. Yeah, it's a crit fail on Sacred Flame. So, um, four hit points. Um, four hit obviously, points. all this time I've been moving my... Um, She's toasty. That's... My spe uh, spectral weapon as well. So I know he's he's five foot slower than me. Oh, probably. that's right. That You are correct. Oh. Good golly, Miss Molly. All right. Da, da, da. And everyone was in 30 foot of me, so I'm going to roll my thingy again. Dig it. Dear God. I like it when Spectral Weapon is that large. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I still can't beat my. Right, so, phrasing? So, moved it 5, 10, 15, 20? Yeah? Yeah. All right. Lovely. Uh, anything else, Herrick? Uh, that's all I can do. Yeah, I, I can dig on that. All right, Feriel. Okay. Um, you, you, you're dancing with Duke. Yes, so remind me for this. I was using my short bow. Yes. Do I have to use like part, any like bonus action or something? You could use a free to action it? to drop your bow and draw your weapon. If you want to try to stow your weapon and draw a weapon, like, but I imagine with somebody coming up on you, you have time to like, uh, like, release the weapon and then draw your sword or whatever your hand weapon is. So, right. But if you're looking drop like, it, I drop weapons all the time. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm dropping it on the ground, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like dropping my bow. Right. You're not like, to you're not like throwing it to the ground. Like you're, yeah. Okay. So. I will do that. Dig it. Um, if you wish to do it like in one fluid motion to then like be able to attack. Right. Uh, yes. Yeah. 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 Which is, what, which, which is what we're all about here. And right. I'm going to look at Duke Dex and say, they will kill you, you know. And I'm going to <laughs> attack Pipper. Oh, I thought you were going to they will kill you. And then I stab the shit out of him. <laughs> and I your friend. All right. Oof. Oof. Oh, nice. Pipper. All right. 18 to hit. Yeah, roll that damage. Oh, look at that sneaky damage. Yeah, so and I do get sneak attack because she's engaged with Flynn, yeah, correct? You are correct, you are correct. So you 17 are... damage. Yeah, 17 damage. And uh, Pipper is uh, is is no more. All right, so as you, as you draw that, what do you do? Describe that takedown for me, Amy, if you'd be so kind. Um, okay, so I'm looking at Duke Dax basically when I do it and I'm just like, you know, I say that like, they will kill you, you know? And I just kind of like shank her, like, <laughs> look at him, like. Do you even take your eyes off of Dick Dax? No. No, just, like, you don't, you're just like, they're gonna kill you, damn. Like, this is your chance, like, yep. your people are going down, you know? Dig it. Oh. And so then technically I would still have a bonus action attack with my dagger. Yeah, you, yeah, you, have, you have your offhand, that is correct. But I don't want to attack Duke Dax. I just want to kind of like threaten him. Like, interesting. This is the moment of choice here. Decide what you're doing. Ooh. All right. Give me a uh, awesome. bonus action intimidation <laughs> or a persuasion. Not a thing. I don't know. <laughs> okay, so, so, Amy, are you trying to do intimidation or persuasion? Um, I feel like probably. 
persuasion based on my previous relationship with him, I wouldn't necessarily be trying to intimidate him. Although stabbing his friend is probably kind of intimidating. I mean, you know, let's be, I mean, but in drow, that's kind of how you say hello. So. True. Yeah. <laughs> There are, Honestly, it doesn't matter because my bonus to the roll is the same either way. Yeah, so go. Uh, well, then I'll say I'll, I'll let you make the choice then. So I'm, I'm roll go and with surprise me. Persuasion, which is not great. <laughs> no, he's not convinced, guys. So that was an eight. with an eight, he's just like, <laughs> I'm not, I am not ready to go yet. And then uh, he, I'm telling you that we're not going to kill you. Okay. Yeah. Mm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, not gonna kill him. All right, so. Uh, so we'll see, I mean, it's his turn next. Yeah, right? Interesting, all right, so yeah, it, yeah, it, it is his turn next. Uh, he, what's he gonna do with all this junk? <laughs> it's a lot of junk. Indeed. All this, all this I'm junk. I'm gonna get, get, get you drunk, get you love drunk off my hump. Hmm. Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. <laughs> um. He's like, allow me to return the favor, and he uh starts. This bastard. He's gonna try to stab me. He's gonna attack Flynn. Aww. All right. You drew the uh, line, Duke Dex. Hit. What was one now? 16 to hit? Does not. Two weapons, 17. This really is how Drow negotiate, though. Like, just take like, turns stabbing each other's friends. I mean, but, well, we might actually be at a Drow wedding. I, I'm not super sure. Right. Which one is it? It's a nice day for All right. And then, uh, this is a courtship ritual, actually. How about a 22, Flint? I'm going to use my reaction to psionic shield that one. So, right. yeah, it hits. But I'm going to eat some of that damage. Psionic shield it? All right. Yep. Love that. I can't see the blessed damage. Oh, nope. thank you, Flynn, for doing that. Um, that is, so it's, ooh, all right. It is five points of piercing and eight poison. Nope, wrong roll, I didn't want to do that one. There it is. Well, that's three damage. All right, roll me a constitution. Oh no. A fighter, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, a lot. <laughs> I'm a dex build. <laughs> See? 19. Nice. Okay, so that's lovely. Okay, so you take, uh, I think with that, so you, with that two, you're able to shrug off two points of that damage, right? Uh, three, I get a plus one to the three. Die, lovely. Die roll. Okay, so, uh, you, so you take 10 damage, you take five poison and five piercing, uh, and as the poison starts to and so it cuts you and as it sort of goes, you see that slash across your arm, you feel it start to burn. And then all of a sudden that like third eye of the wolf sort of flashes on your head and you feel that that power within you of, of, of the winter wolf. And it, it, it shrugs off the poison. You're able to sort of keep yourself on focus. Oh, I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and so that's his attack. And then he is gonna go ahead and He's bonus action for some healy heals. And uh, next up is going to be Zulvana. Well, um, I'm attempting to get out of the spider webs, yeah? So I'm, I'm backing away. So you slowly. backing up? I'm, I'm backing away. Excellent, excellent. So, and, and if I can help her, I mean, I know it's not out. my turn, Absolutely. but if I can help yeah, her. So yeah, with, with Xander's assist, you're able to get back out easy peasy, so. Okay, cool. And, so, and I'll give her a little half hug and say, I'm so sorry. It's okay. It's okay. I got you. <laughs> I didn't mean um, <laughs> It's fine. Only, um, only hurts when I breathe. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um, so if I'm trying to remember correctly, like All we're right, in so. like this little side room and then there's like- Yeah, the let, me, main... let, me, let me just play this game real quick here. Yeah. This, will, this will be fun for everybody involved. Boop. Freeze frame. Do, 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 do. <laughs> right. So uh, as we jump back to the town hall, hey everybody, uh, Zilvana, you back up uh, into Xander's Square, I imagine, and get yourselves that way there. Yeah. yeah. You, guys, you guys with me so far? Lovely. So there you are. You're All there. Right. So 
I want to get outside, obviously. So you know from previously, the closest way to get outside is mm -hmm. the side door here, yep. or you could try to go up and around to try to get out through the front doors where your party is, where you last saw your party running to. Um, but could, is that could, a window next to them? Could we either of us go out the window? Yeah, can oh. we go out the window? Because Fariel went out a window, an upstairs window. That's true. Yeah. Um, I would say you are you both are of a frame that you could fit through a window. Yes, my wings aren't out. <laughs> so as you so as you back up and out, you that's your so that's your movement. You can well most some of your movement. You I would imagine you can then take your action if you want to smash the window and try to get out that way. Ah. Okay. I'm gonna smash it. Excellent. Uh, go ahead and roll me an athletics or acrobatics to get through the window. I would say, yeah, well, I'll let you decide. Um, okay, acrobatics just because it's higher. That's what I thought. All right. Hopefully it doesn't suck too bad. Oof. Sucks it a does. little much. Yeah, Dad, yeah. So, why? Seven, so, like you kind of, you kind of smash, like you smash a couple of panes, but the, it, it's really kind of jagged a little bit, and so it's just like, oh shit. So you kind of like, like smash it and smash it again, and kind of kick it a couple of times. Like the glass is just like not going out. It's not as clean an exit as you would have liked. So, yeah. but you, you do, you do manage to clear the glass, but you don't get to actually get out through the window just yet. Okay. All right. Uh, anything else from Zola? Um. No. All right. Dig it. Dig it. Uh, that brings me up to Flynn. Yes. And hang on a second. Freeze frame. All right. So. So can I move uh, here right behind him? Absolutely. Yeah. Keep yeah. it in that beautiful range. Of, so that's like 5, 10, 15. Yeah. Yeah. That, that, that 15 foot movement will get you behind him into flanking. Cool. Cool. Exactly what I want to do. Now, you have heard... Fariel saying like, yes, yes I have. Oh, actually, I'm so sorry, uh, Fariel. Have you been speaking in common or was it under common? Like, what were you? Uh... Um, I probably would have allowed Flynn to understand that, so I would have gone with common. Dig it. Okay. Yeah, okay. I did just stab you, Flynn. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm still gonna hit him. Oh, I Flynn's like, I remember. You don't have to remind me. <laughs> <laughs> And that's uh, that's the roll plus one for each attack. Yeah, so you get a plus one to your attack. Okay, so uh, I've got both rapiers out, but I'm gonna be punching him with the ring hilts because they're painful and I'm mad. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That that feels that feels legit. <laughs> uh, fourteen. That first one. Fourteen will not hit. He manages. Yeah. Like he sees you kind of coming around behind him. He ducks his head out of the way. Ah, oh, Jesus. <laughs> Should have just stabbed him. <laughs> <Should've> just... <laughs> so as so as as Flynn, you kind of like punch out your hills to try to get this guy, and he just shoo, shoo, and he also like he dodges these and he doesn't take his eyes off of Fariel. Oh, and that's a that's just insulting. Okay, that's fine. Just, yeah, that's just this is this is a wedding. Yeah, but remember to roll <laughs> your. This uh, is a wedding. Your hit points. A trial wedding without at least. Oh yeah, your thank temp you. Hit points. What's that? Oh yeah, the, the, those temps. What is it? One d six plus three. Okay. No, oh, that was three. No, I didn't I was, three I dice. Was like, no, Flynn, I understand you whoa. might want to be a bit I, greedy. I, 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 <laughs> I thought that added the three to my thing. I didn't realize it was going to be three oh, dice. For every attack I miss, I get to roll an extra d6. Is that what <laughs> <laughs> No, wait a minute. If that's the case, uh, I'm, I'm Silvana has really. like 100 hit points right now. Yeah, yeah. Silvana <laughs> is a god. All right, no. Um, so you get so, eight temporary uh, hit points. Nice. Professor. Yep, just dragging my way. <laughs> dragging my Going way down down on a All right, so uh, you're trying to get the 30 feet, right? So you're dragging. Yep. Dear God. All right, so third, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. You're at the door to the to the prison cell. You could uh, drop Tall there, and you would have eyes on him, or you want to drag him into the room at that point. Uh, there was a table in that room, right? There was, yes. I'm gonna keep dragging so I can throw him on the table. <laughs> Nate, I love this image so much. Is he still storytelling the whole time as well? No. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I absolutely <laughs> hope so. He's just monologuing this whole time. He's like, you know, the problem with the corpse is not the meat. It's the teeth. 
That's the issue. Really. <laughs> and this was a lot easier 20 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> oh <laughs> should have had a v8 all right so um sorry you should have stayed on that map because it's me next oh damn it that's right sorry xander uh, that's right um so back. first Xander. first first things first the since they didn't like you know just really get to take off the, that whole project was stymied the next round i assume that i'm still in communication range with tempest yes absolutely she's and, on her <clears throat> yeah and so she's yeah, so she's she's currently circling the combat just outside the front so uh, i'm guessing she's keeping me informed of what's happening absolutely she's like one thug is down and it, it appears that fairy and flynn have flanked him uh, I, I will um i will ask her to do to take the flyby action to absolutely. to garner help for the next attack on him lovely lovely uh, um Budski, if it's a, if you're able to, when I flip over to that map, can you drop Tempest onto that? I will, I will, absolutely. Uh, I am going to take my uh, dash movement, and I can actually get all the way, I believe, to here. Uh, when I pass by the open stairwell here, I'm going to yell downstairs and say, "Professor, is everything okay?" <laughs> 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 Uh, are, are you puking or monologuing? I can't tell. <laughs> Everything's fine. Okay. I uh, just, just letting you know, I'm trying to get to this door here to rebolt it. But I know that I can't get there this, this time. Okay. No, no, I love that. I was just like, interesting. Choices are being made. All right. Uh, I believe. Well, we fought so damn hard for this building. I cannot let it be. Yeah, that would be a sad panda moment. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Back to Herrick, the cleric. Herrick will charge the drow. All right. Awesome. Oh, yay. Thank you. Uh, Whew, cloud. Uh, uh, so and, Tempest, and he will the flyby, so you will have advantage on oh, this attack. I know. I know. Uh, 16's a hit. 16 is not a hit. Oh, is it not? Nah, he's, he's a beefy bastard. Are my classes flanking there? No, unfortunately. Oh. Uh, and I will move my. Come on, hurry up! I'll move my spiritual weapon up. No, dig it. Yeah. So it's uh, it's twenty. Five, 20 yeah. 10, 15, 20. <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, do, do. All right, Feriel. So you see this, so he, like, your friends are, like, as your party starts to convene around you, and you're, fl like, they're throwing punches and, like, trying to, uh, like, I, so are, is anyone else attempting to do non-lethal damage, or are you guys just trying to put this guy down? No, we're still doing, I'm, well, I'm still doing non-lethal. Okay, okay, excellent. So, you, Fariel, you're watching, like, Duke Dak just, like, he's dancing, like, around these foes. He kind of, like, looks at you in the eye and is just like, seriously? This this is who you've allied here, yourself yeah. with. Oh God! I'm gonna hit him next turn. I'm gonna I'm hit. Not, him. I'm not a barbarian. I'm gonna, I'm I'm gonna hit him. Mama, I would <laughs> like to <laughs> rage. Yeah, I mean, hit this summer bitch so hard. We're all raging. <laughs> yeah, somehow we've just turned into a party of barbarians. Yeah. <laughs> all right, um, we'll carry out. All right, I'm just gonna take a swipe at him with my dagger. Dagger. Okay. Yeah, that's that's what I have out. All right. so that I can do too, so. Dig it. No dagger. Dirty twenty. Ooh, dirty twenty. He uh, so as so as you go ahead and uh, as you take 21. that stab at him. Uh, oh, twenty one. Ooh, yeah, twenty one. Oh, it is twenty one. Yeah, because the flanking. It is twenty one with the flanking. So, ooh, he is going to like he goes and catches it with his short sword as he looks at you in the eye and. Go ahead and roll a contest. What? That's just a d20? <laughs> yep. Just nice. a d20. Defensive duelist, baby. Yeah. 19. D oh, nice. Yes. He's his 15. So as he catches your dagger, he's like, he smiles at you. And as he, as he smiles at you, you push in on him and you, your point sinks into his thigh. He's like, Shh, oh, mm. still got it, I see. Come on, fourteen. Nice, damage. nice. And that that fourteen damage bites deep. Yeah. So I'm gonna do that and be like, 
It doesn't have to go down like this. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. So yes, Sorry. it does. <laughs> uh, shift seventy up says, and now they're married. <laughs> I think she's, actually, I think he's pregnant with her child. <laughs> it's it's when the blood gets drawn. That's yeah, like, yeah. That seals it. That means it's for reals. <laughs> oh, oh. All right. Uh, so are you following up that attack with? Yeah. Your, yeah. With my bonus action with yeah, my get other dagger. Bonus. Yeah. Ah, nice. Okay. So that that so that that your your dagger your second dagger attack. Uh, roll your damage. Five. Hmm. Is it, do you get your dex bonus on the next attack as well? Do you? Um, I don't think so. Yeah. Do you have two no, weapon fighting? As a fighting? Oh no, because do. Do rogues take fighting style? I don't think they do. No. no. All right. Yeah. It'll just be one damage then. So it's just one. Yeah. Oh, it's just one. Because it automatically added the four roll twenty. Oh, did. saucy monkey! But since it's right. the extra attack, it doesn't right. add the bonus. So as you go to stab him, and then like you st you go to like try to sink it in all the way up to that, and you just just do a little bit, and he's like, oh, oh. All right. So, uh, nice. All right. That's gonna be his turn, and uh, having been blooded by uh by Fariel, he is. <laughs> Uh, he then, oh man, he is. I oh, am... do I get to roll for temporary hit points? Yeah, you're already on max, aren't you? Have you been hit? I don't think she's been hit. Yeah, you've uh -huh. already still got max. It wouldn't make a difference for you. You rolled mm. max on the first time round, didn't you? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah I understand now. Um... He's a, he's a stubborn little cur. Uh, he is, again, going to go ahead and turn and take both of his short swords and stab backwards. Oof. Stab backwards behind him? Yep. At disadvantage, I hope. I mean, if you're good, you can do it. Elite drow, baby. <laughs> However, he is not good. He rolls a 10 and a 15, so as he as he dodges behind him, Flynn is just like, I'm about done with your... Uh. Shit. All right. <laughs> Zolvana, having cleared out the uh, um, the window, mm -hmm. uh, you are now able to get out that way. You looking yeah. to get out? That way? I want to get out that way so bad. Absolutely, you can. So from here, you go ahead and do yeah. <laughs> um, What's <sorry>. happening? Yeah. <laughs> I am right. everywhere, and I am yeah. nowhere. All right, so uh, you can go ahead. Yeah, get out that, and then I out the window. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, yeah, right. 30, 35, 40. So you'd be able to get to about 50, 55, so 60. If you ish. dash, so you go 55, which I would go ahead and say puts you. Kind of like parallel with Herrick? A little I would, bit further. No, I, I would say it puts you like right here on the festival map. Oh, wait, am I on the wrong map? Yes. No, I haven't yeah. put players back there yet. Whoop. Boop. All right, so, but this allows you to get onto this map. You are now, like, here. Hang on a sec. Allow me to ping. There, yes, exactly. So you're right there. Uh, sort I, of. I see, I see yeah. nothing. One ding, second. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, no, wait, let me, oh, let me help. Yeah, ping right, help party. Uh, uh, oh, oh, look, everyone. So it's many. the Olympics. Ba things. Ba 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 We're waiting for you to drag your token on. I'm aware of this. <laughs> 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 Yay! So you, I thought we were just having how ping the ping there. stopped once your token was there. That's how it works. Crazy, weird. <laughs> um, I just like the pretty circles. Okay. <laughs> you have used your movement. You have used your action to dash. You have a bonus action if you wish. You see mm. the party. So, like, as you come around the corner, you see that the the three of your party member have managed to like, um, like surround this uh, uh, this drow and are. You're like, oh man, they're totally kicking. Are they kicking that guy's butt? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, are they though? Yeah, he's, like, he's um, taken fifty damage. Oh yeah. Jeez. All right. I, I just want everyone to remember that Zavanna did get like three kill strikes last week, so. Butch. She doesn't know that you guys are non-lethaling over here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. I'm not um, non-lethaling. <laughs> non, non -lethal Eric doesn't player. know the meaning of non-lethal damage. Oh, no, I got a minute. He knocked out what's his face, but this is a drow, so Harry. Uh, that's true. That's true. Kid. He did. He did knock out Tao. 
cute. Um, <laughs> sorry. I'm just trying to... Hmm. 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 Can I, uh, what do I... Hmm. Smeh. Smeh. <laughs> um, wait, how far away are they from me? Are they 60 feet away from me? <laughs> uh, I think they're more than I would that. say they are... Ooh. No. Oh, they're 55. Wow. So the drow 55. is 55 feet away from you. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to cast Vicious Mockery at the drow. There we go. I love it. I love it, and I hate it, and I love it. All right, so <laughs> cast Vicious Mockery. All right, he's going to make a DC 14. Wisdom stupid, six. stupid face. I love it. And you're... He rolled a four. He's like, oh, that's my, that's the thing. I'm sensitive. (laughs) (laughs) Your drow outfit is lame and not scary at all. Look at that drabby drow. (laughs) 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 Yes, we here at Cold Hard Witch take take things very seriously in this world. All right, love it. So that four damage comes in cuttingly. Oh, all right, uh, Zavanna, please no more. Anything else? No, I'm good. Okay. <laughs> all right, Flynn, my man, you're up. Oh, what's, what's I want music. Go. Oh, I'm so sorry. Yeah, we we were jumping between realms for so long. I think I forgot the battle music. That or it just kept loading the Winter Festival. Uh, there we go. Mind you, that suits after that joke. So after that vicious mockery. All right, so the first rapier attack. <sighs> Only 16. 15, dodges out of the way. Uh, second one. Another you 15. gotta be kidding me, okay. Yeah. So he catches both of them in a flourish behind him, like literally behind his back, just kind of takes his knife, spins them around, and he just kind of flicks your sabers, like your, your rapiers off as if it was so derisively, like I, I it's painful, him. like you hate, hate it. So much. Cheryl is rolling her eyes. Like the wolf oh inside of you is snarling. All right. <laughs> Professor, you have finally gotten to your horde of Durgar corpses. Oh, yes. Yeah. Roll a constitution saver, I have a heart attack. Yeah. <laughs> Um, <laughs> roll for hernia. Um, I'm gonna just uh, flop towel onto the table, and then start looking through, investigating the Durgar. Okay, excellent. Uh, roll me an investigation check if you'd be so kind. Boop. Twenty-one. Twenty. That is That's pretty that- good. That is pretty damn solid. Okay. Uh, all right. Roll me. So let's see here. Uh, you take an action to uh, to uh, loot one of the Durgar. So uh, roll me a d12. Four. Nice. Uh, so y- you find what appears to be a, a stoppered bottle inside one of their sacks. Um, do you open it? Yeah. All right. So yes. as you pop it open, the unmistakable smell of alcohol comes sort of wafting out of it. It's a, it has like a, a, a it's like a ale. Uh, it's almost like a this sort of very dark uh, smell to it. It has an, uh, sort of a, it's like an earthy, almost like a mushroom seemed to base to it, but. Okay. Oh God, mushroom ale. Yeah, yeah. Can I? Can I sip that? Just give it a like a like a almost like I'm at a wine tasting. Just like a oh, act- do you do a little like, oh, a little bit of and then you that. and then you you got to spit it out to the yeah, side. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. Do you spit it on one of the deer guard? No, that's spit it on tall. That's spit it on tall. It's disrespectful. I put it on spit it on tap. Excellent. So uh, roll me uh, roll me a history check. Just Oops. for kicks and giggles. Yeah, there 23. you go. Twenty-three. 23, uh, you know, this is a Dark Lake Stout. It's a signature ale of the Undercommon, and it has an earthy taste. That's not something I want to use to describe my alcohol. Dark Lake Stout. Dark Lake Stout. Lovely. Cool. All right. Xander, you're up, sir. Uh, Hang on. I, I don't know that we need to go back to the map. I, I, I'll spend the last 10 feet to get to the side door and uh, bolt it tight. Okay. <clears throat> um, I will catch up on what happened in the round with Tempest. 
Yeah. And I will have Tempest take the uh, the help action again. Okay, excellent. Uh, against the drow. Uh, I'm going to... So it's 10 feet to, um, to the door. I'll spend the next 20 to come back into the room over where the, the statue had been. Yeah. And I will yell for uh, Imdra. And I will say, Captain Imdra, are you okay? Is everything well? All right. You hear from above you. You're fine. The speaker is alive. How are your friends? Uh, they, they're pursuing someone outside. Stay there. Stay locked up. All right. We will main, I'll, I'll maintain the town hall. <laughs> doing a real good goddamn job of it upstairs. Uh, <laughs> but at least she says that she and everyone is still alive. I mean, we go up there and she's murdered everyone, then we'll know, but... Yeah, right, it's like... It was you, Imdra. It was you, uh, Imdra. Right. Um, I got away with it, too, if it weren't for right, you so kids. then, Suzanne, are you, you, so that was your move. You, you're back in the room. Are you trying to get back towards the window, or are you staying in that, like, just kind of... Um, well, that's all of my movement. Yeah, um, are you looking to use your I, 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 or? No, I, I'm, I'm going to stay there for the moment. I want to okay. I want to keep an ear on her and them and an ear on the professor. Excellent. Uh, roll me a perception check. Okay. This is never good. Seventeen. Nice. So the seventeen. You notice that in the corner of the room, under the stairs, where all the broken pieces of the shardlin were, they are now gone. All of them. Though the shardlin is the oh, that's the black stone. That's the black stone. All the, the black stone is gone. All Shit. the black stone is gone. God damn it! <laughs> Traveling, Traveling! <laughs> and on that, we're jumping to Herrick. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. And so you'll have advantage on this attack. Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. So, yeah, the next attack on the drow has advantage. Frickin fucking, frickin fricking However, a 15 will not do <clears> it. it. I move my... Who should we flip up? 20 feet, which will get in range. Yeah, that should get in range. 5, 10, 15. 15. Oh, that was a 17. That's bullshit. All right. Oh, yeah. Nine will not hit. My God, this drow. <laughs> now, now, if y'all need me to come out there and add my blade, you just let me know. All right. Uh, no, we've seen on that note, uh, anything blade else, song. Eric? Yeah, it, once I get blade song, uh, w that we're, we're cooking, but. All right. Anything else, Eric? No. I love it. No. Ariel. <laughs> Rinse and repeat. Daggers. All right. Oh, that was no Ooh, bueno. That was an eight. eight. Now, here's the question. For sneak attack damage, if you make your secondary attack, does that, do you still get sneak attack? Yes. Yeah, I should, because it's once per turn. It's once not per turn. Okay, okay. So, yeah. okay, excellent. So, yeah. as long as as long as you make an attack that hits once per turn, you get to use sneak attack if there's a person within five yes. feet or advantage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. Excellent. Okay. So, follow up attack. You got this. You got this. You got this. No. It's 18. It is a contest. Oh, actually, you know what? No, he's going to go ahead and use his reaction and, ping, and parries it aside. Wasn't his AC 17 earlier? No. Mm -mm. Oh, I'm sorry. I just, when we were inside, I thought it was. No. Mm -mm. Was it all? Okay. No, I had to do a roll off when I rolled 21 to hit him. Yeah, that's true. That's last true. time. Yeah, that's because he used the yeah. defensive duelist. I said these. That's are meta. <laughs> Come on, guys. We're playing a game. All right. So, uh, so yeah, like, you, you go ahead and, like, you, you try to sink that dagger in, and, like, Flynn, like, shouts, is like, hey, over here. And he thinks he's distracted him, but, and it again, Duke Dak just knocks it aside, and he's just like, I think you're flirting with me. I wink at him. <laughs> and then stab him in the groin. And then stab him in the groin. Uh, <laughs> all right. So, uh, hmm. from here... Uh, he is, um, yeah, again, he's, again, he's going to go ahead and he's like, won't, can't these idiots just leave us alone? And he's going to go ahead and turn and make one attack on Flynn and the second attack on Herrick. 
So first attack on Flynn is a 12. Nope. Nope. Uh, how about uh, an attack on Flynn is, or not Flynn, Herrick is 18. Yes. Oh. I use defensive duelist. <laughs> yeah, dwarf <laughs> defensive duelist. I think that's called headbutt, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, all right. Okay, for some bloody awful reason. Oh, hang on. Uh, Herrick, you take 10 piercing and five poison damage. I need do you to I roll a to constitution. Roll? What's that? Do I, say, do I get to roll against the poison? You do. Uh, roll a constitution saving throw. Uh, 22. 22 is going to say, well uh, well and good. So you, you so as you go to try to take the effect of the poison, it, it doesn't... Uh, so, what's the uh, so you are not poisoned, but you still take the poison damage. Yeah, what's the total? Uh, so that's fif 15 damage. Uh, but obviously I've got resistance against poison. Oh, you do? Well. You do? Okay, so that's what only 12 then, right? So that's two damage what from the poison? What was the poison damage? It was five. Five. It was all two. Yeah. To two, yeah. So I take so two. you take two. All right, so, so 12 total... 10 piercing, 2 poison. Okay. Lovely. So he so as, as he goes ahead and like throws a feint behind him towards Flynn, Flynn like tings it out of the way and then he manages to get his arm up into a little scorpion tail and just shoot, sinks it right into the clavicle of Herrick. He's ah! Oh, that makes me mad. <laughs> all right. Zilvana? Um, all right. So since I'm all the way over here, I'm going to take my... Uh, movement plus dash to like kind of get closer. Um, let's see, where am I at? I can I can get to. Yeah. That's w that's yeah. within his range. Yeah, that's probably yeah. Away is probably better. Yeah. Like away, like right here. Yeah, I mean, you won't be able to melee him, but you can't do that this turn anyway. Yeah, fair. All right, so I'm gonna do that. Wait, why can I? Oh, just I have to change, I change have, your I have finger. To change the thingy. Um, all right. There, I think that's where that was. Um, yeah. And so that is um, your that is your movement and your action because of the dash. Yes. So then and you have a bonus action. What would you like to do? <laughs> you got a fucking <laughs> bonus action. Um, well. Uh. Can I give um, Bardic Inspiration to Herrick? Yeah, you can. Yeah, say. Uh, as a friendly DM reminder, Tiberius is up next. But Ah, uh, all right. Otherwise, Never mind. Just, oh, sorry. give it to Herrick. Just, give it to Herrick. That's just, fine. I got just, it. Give it to Herrick. Well, I, don't it. <laughs> I don't need it. I don't need it. I don't need it. Well, fine, if you're going to argue with me. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> This is not the fight I was expecting this to be, but that being said, it's the fight I want now. It's so good. <laughs> All, right. All right, I'm done. All right, you're done. Flynn, you are up, sir. This, oh. man is, this man is just shaming you with his moves. Uh, yep. Okay, here we go. He is definitely shaming. <laughs> Come on, Flynn. Come on. All right, first one. 20. Ooh. 21 for flanking. 21. 21 for flanking. He's had his reaction already. No, he didn't. Yeah, he did. He had it on Fairyel. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's right. He did it on Fairyel, didn't he? Uh, mm -hmm. But then he went after Fairyel. Yeah, he's oh, after yeah. the return oh, order. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whose side are you on, Nate? <laughs> hey, Jesus, you just sit of... down there with your His corpses. Own. And you like this fight? Side side you have no idea what kind of right. mad experiments I'm doing down there. So with that, so with, oh dear God, oh dear I God. thought I heard a zipper, guys. Uh, all right, so you know uh, what, Lynn, <laughs> let's contest. Okay, okay. Let's duel. Let's just let us duel. Uh, Sing the light. Oh, band. son of a! Oh, oh. no! <laughs> so not only <laughs> that, but he works. gritted on that. So I, uh, so he like as Flynn's like. Ha! Got you now, you... M and he manages to, like... He actually, like, takes Flynn's hand for a second and, like, twists it under. And as he twists it under, he, like, flicks his blade up and then away and just drops Flynn's hand. This is why I have two swords. <laughs> oh, oh. oh, he's been rattled. Nine. He, he, he's... 
Oh, he's making a he's making a fool of you, boy. I'm just like pulsing with the psionic energy that I'm just gonna <laughs> fucking unleash on this next attack. Oh my god, the whole like I imagine like the ground is starting to crack underneath Flynn as like his energy is just getting so fierce. All right. Uh, meanwhile, back in the dungeon, Professor, uh, go ahead yeah. and uh, you examine another Durgar corpse. Uh, yep. Roll a d12. Beep, beep. Beep, 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 Eight beep, beep, this time. Beep, 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 Lovely. Beep, beep, you beep, find uh, four more darts. Only now you know them to be... Actually, go ahead and roll me a d4. But you find uh, a d4 of darts. More Shardolin darts? Sir, yes, sir. You find three more Shardolin darts, which you now originally thought to be obsidian. These are indeed yeah. throwing darts. Okay. And these ones, I want to examine them. Do they look like they've been poisoned also? So, hmm, interesting. Give me, uh, give me an arcana check. I thought we already established it was part of the stone. 24. Yes, so uh, with the 24, you notice that it is not... Like there doesn't seem to be like where normally there would be some sort of ointment or oil or some sort of balm put on the dart to make it poison itself. You feel the energy emanating from the dart itself. And as you hold them in your hand and are examining them and peering over them, the, that, that wound in your hand seems to throb a little bit. And you're like, Whoa. this entire... This which, entire. which wound? The one that you received from uh, when you touched the statue? Was I yes. wounded by that? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. One that, the one that made your veins turn black and you're like, oh, it's fine. Hand. Yeah. Yeah. There's a mark on your hand, left on your hand, which you, was, which you, okay. was, you marked off. It was, it was a bruise. It was just a bruise. Though as you start to like, like, like peer closely at these darts, you're like, that's it? It's the whole city. They're all part of it. And so. Okay. Fresh is bad. <laughs> Daffy old bastard. All right. Uh, Xander. Dr. Jekyll or Mr. Hyde. <sighs> well, uh, I don't know what to do with Tempest because uh, I keep hearing about all these whiffs outside. I keep doing it. I, got, I got, eventually got a hit. Um, Point of order, can I give my d20 inspiration to somebody? You absolutely can. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to give mine to Fariel when it comes to her turn, so that she has a decent chance of hitting this guy while his reaction's down. Mmm, nice. I already have a d20 inspiration. Okay. So I don't know if that matters. You well, can, then only, you can only hold one d20. Yeah. yeah, you can hold cool. one at a time, but once she burns it... Well, then I will encourage Amy to use hers. <laughs> <laughs> From across the ether, you hear, no, you totally could burn that d20. Right. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to have Tempest hold until after Herrick goes what? fly by so that Fariel gets advantage. She's got to get advantage anyway. All right. Inspiration. All right. I gave you advantage here. Oh, Eric. oh, because she's going to get it from, from the er, hmm. inspiration. inspiration. All right, I'll, I'll just have her do it normal. I'll, I'll, we'll, oh. we'll let Herrick redeem himself, even though he keeps shit talking me as an elf. I was say, so Xander, you are currently still, so you're in the back, you're, you're, you're like gotten the, 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 the live feed from Tempest. Are you looking to move out at all, or is you, you're holding the fort? I'm going to hold the fort. Okay, excellent. And, and so I'll have her just do regular flyby so that Herrick gets it on this coming attack. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Do I hear anything else from downstairs? Mm. Uh, no, it's it's he's very quiet. Like occasionally, like, not from me. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. It's it's not a. Yeah, not. A, I mean, there's there's the audible sound of the. <laughs> Is he still crying? He is, he is. <laughs> All right, well, if I hear him crying, I'm going to head downstairs and see if I can handle that situation. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So so you go ahead and head downstairs. 
He's about to us. he's about to get some tough love. Yeah. <laughs> Why are back you back not to? Anyway, uh, anything else, Xander? No, unfortunately. Right. Herrick. All right. Okay. Come on. Now's your chance, Lee. <laughs> I am. I'm crying now. Come on. Why did it do it with a Come on. Come on. I'm out. Fourteen. Uh, is not a hit. Oh, for freaking. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Hang on. He brought me back from from unconscious, so I can't say too much. Twenty one. There it hit. is. There it is. Okay, spiritual weapon is a hit. With eight. eight force. Nice. And I'm going to use my last first level to healing word myself as a bonus action. And use my inspiration that I got off the lovely Zavana. Yes. Come on. Twelve back. Nice. Nice. Plus your temps. Plus my temp. Heal. And then my temp, which is another D6. Come on. This is five temporary. Done. Love it. All right. So that you you see. So like Herrick comes in and swings his war pick, tries to bury it into into the drought. He just jumps back out of the way as he jumps back out of the way while he's in air Herrick's double-headed hammer comes across and just catches him right in his ribs he's just oh! <laughs> and he kind of drops to the ground a little bit uh, as, as he sort of like goes to one knee Fariel it is your turn okay so finish ex- him <laughs> explain <laughs> the it. inspiration dice to me do I have to use it as advantage, like at the same time, or is it like a lucky where I can re No, you have to use it. So you yeah, can, so you inspiration is, let's say, I'm gonna roll with, I'm gonna roll with uh, advantage, and then you roll advantage. And so that's just okay. double. So it's not like lucky where you can roll one and be like, oh, oh. Okay. Was that clear well, or not? Yeah. No, it's, it's clear. I will do that then. Ooh, 19. 20. 20. It's a he's new used turn. His, he's used his reaction against me. He, he has used, he used he, his reaction, yeah. He has not had a turn to refresh his reaction. Mm-mm. That's true. That's very true. Okay, yeah, so that hits. Nice, nice. 13. 13. And then... My so is that is that is that third so as that first dagger goes in so he's down on his knees that dagger sinks you, you kind of I imagine you kind of flip it like ice pick style Amy and like put it into his shoulder on the top so he's ah, ah he drops one of his short swords to the ground and he is uh, he's he's looking peaked <laughs> you wanted it this way and I'll take my second attack hmm are you going lethal or non-lethal? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> better say le- now. She, she went lethal. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna matter. All right. So that is a critical twenty-six hit. All right, roll that beautiful damage. Wait, did we decide if this is non-lethal? Yeah. Uh, so before you roll this damage, uh, declare for me if you're doing non-lethal or lethal. Uh, I, I feel like at this point I gave him enough chances and he didn't comply. So yeah. this is gonna yeah. be, I mean, it's not gonna be a lot of damage because it's my second attack, but it would be That's lethal. True. I'm That's not true. pulling punches at this point. Yeah. I just want you to roll a four now. All right, so that is- Nine so points. N- nine points, but it's actually Hold on. no, like I know all of these numbers are like wrong. Yeah, but I don't right, remember. Yeah. So it's how. actually six points. Six. Damage. No, it's actually just five. Right? Five points. So yeah. no, no, it she would rolled be a two plus four. Oh, that's but right. No, not plus right. four because it's my second attack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Plus four so to the crit. Crit's the maximum. Two... The crit's maximum, which is a d4, so it's four. Okay. And you rolled a two. Oh, right. she six. doesn't have perfect crits turned on. I can't need... because it messes up the messes rogue up, yeah. stuff. Big attack, yeah. Oh, yeah. gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. All right, so, all right, help me math this out, my Six friends. Six damage. 
Six yeah. damage total? Yeah. Okay. It's six. Love it. All right, cool. So, uh, so, uh, so, like you, so you sit, you sink it into his shoulder, and then I imagine you actually just bring your other hand over down and just, and like you kind of, like you hit the hilt and bury it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. To hit the pommel and Beautiful. you bury it up to the hilt in his shoulder. And he's like, ah, I thought we had something. <sighs> and I gave you a chance. Very well then. Uh, he goes ahead and. Goes ahead and attacks you. At disadvantage because he's on his knees, right? Uh, yeah, sure, buddy, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you said he was on his knees. It's flavor, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Look, does this does this imply? Or, um, so he rolls a nine for the first attack. That's a miss. Yeah, I imagine that's a miss. Uh, and a twenty-six for the second. That's a miss. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's you too. All right, so that's eight, and then seven poison. Go ahead and roll me a con save. Thirteen. Ooh, thirteen is meat to beat. So nicely done. Um, so okay, so you you take what is it? Uh, Fifteen points of damage. Eight piercing, seven poison. And he, so God, he does. Boom, boom. Two attacks. Does he try to get away? Do it. Huh? No, no, I think he's going to finish this. Yeah, he's just like... Well, with three AOs against him, that would be a... <laughs> that'd be a bold move. He might be a... He might be right? a... Right? So... Oh, yeah. Damn rogues. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know if he's a rogue or not. No, he's not. Oh, I guess he's I just... monk shit. I guess I just figured he was since he was using poison. I think he's a fighter. Mm. Uh, all right. So then uh, that leaves us to Zilvana. I finally get to attack something. Yay. Watch her get the killing blow again. Yeah, kill <laughs> yeah, yeah. You say you, you, you play this right, you'll you'll be a stone cold killer. All right, so um, I'm I'm gonna just like you know move up to actually move, move be left, in the melee. Left a bit, left a bit, and flank. Flank with move uh, left yeah, 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 with... You, yeah. So if you if you move just to, yes, you are now yeah, flanking right there, with Eric. All right, so that's where that's really gonna help my rose. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that'll get it. That'll get it. All right, roll All right. that. The rapier. The, the raspier. I told you, my kids stole all my bloody rolls. Oh, oh, no. oh. crit fail! Why so, every single time? As you go to pull that da- as you go to pull that rapier, it's just like he, he is not pleased with your actions. Uh, it jumps you, out of the way as you try to lunge towards him. Yeah, right, right. Yeah. Are you gonna, I say, you're going to take uh, your bonus action? Yeah, with um, my dagger. Okay, dig it. Do your dagger attack. Hopefully I won't suck hard. Ooh. I did. I suck hard. Suck as hard, but it's, it's nowhere close. So. Yeah. It's an eye. <laughs> it's like, why? Yeah, no. <laughs> like a flail and a flail. Yeah. I mean, Jay, Jay's right. It is an eight. Did She's you take flanking. that into, into account? <laughs> That's true. It is, that, that is an eight. You are correct. Uh, so sorry. I say. You know, it's been. I've been rolling crap all night. It's fine. No worries. No worries. All right. <laughs> play. We both. It started off so well with max <gasps> damage. Max damage. I was like, yeah, tonight's gonna be good. Nope. All right. Here we go. Get this! Ooh, a yes. Critical this is not, hit. This is non-lethal. Because I'm mad. 25. <laughs> so as Zilvana sort of like tries to get her sword nice. dagger out and she's parrying it and it's not looking great, Flynn, roll that damage. Good. Just... Okay. Because <laughs> I'm. Oh, sweet Jesus. Okay. Come I'm on. gonna let the professor deal with you. Oh dear God. <laughs> Is he still up? Is he still up? No. So with the 11 plus the 8 for a total of 19 damage, it knocked out his remaining 10 health points. I imagine like Zilvana like tries to spin and like try to get the dagger and the rapier to a combination and he just sort of dances out of the way of it. And as he does that, Flynn just takes his rapier. I'm just going to punch him with the the hilt of it. You punch him. I'm non-lethal. I'm doing non-lethal damage on him. Okay. Awesome. So you punch him and it's just... He drops like a, <laughs> on a brick. <laughs> he lands on the ground. Flynn's just like, dodge that. 
<laughs> mm -hmm. All right. So sure enough, he is he's not killed. Non-lethal damage. He gets dropped by Flynn. And that, ladies and gentlemen, will be the end. Dear God. Oh, combat. <laughs> Harry is fighting the urge to execute him, but would go against his ethics. So he, he stops himself. <laughs> yeah, but I imagine he like maybe kicks him just a little bit. Oh yeah, so. I'll put a boot in. Yeah, like, only a little bit. Um, I'll go kill him. <laughs> a little bit of bludgeon won't hurt though. <laughs> I I want to bring him inside because I just want to grab him by the collar, um, and drag him low enough that his head is scraping against the ground and that it hits every fucking step oh, as you walk inside <laughs> and then like, before before you go to move him i'm going to remove all of his weapons and everything ooh. like just yeah. ooh, take everything that he's got away okay, okay. you already you already have a, a short bow can i have it can i have it can i have it can i have it <laughs> well, we, I we loot no, pippa get the wand. <clears throat> yeah we loot pippa for the wand and everything else oh yeah i gently wake up the all xp right, all right so we're going to call you paul so, um... <laughs> Paulina. Oh, you're a girl. Okay, Paulina. <laughs> uh, all right. So, uh, Amy, as you go, as Fariel goes to sort of clear uh, Duke Dax, uh body, uh, go ahead. So, um, roll me three d12s. Should have checked him for traps. <laughs> Ah. He's got mouse traps in each of his pockets. <laughs> oh, shit. Nice, nice. Okay, so I see a four, an eight, and an eleven. Yes. Yes. All right then. Uh, so with the four, you find a grappling hook of a hundred feet of silk coil rope. Mm. With the eight, uh, you see. Ah, nice. Uh, so he has a, he has a roll, roll a, roll two d four. Okay, One you find two. three vials of a perfume that you used to wear. Oh, oh, he's a creep. They are a hundred gold apiece. He's a weirdo. Wow. <laughs> And uh, with an 11, you find a plus one Drowcraft dagger. Ooh. It has a silvery web-like filigree worked into the hilt. And since it is Drowcraft, you knew that it will lose its magic if it's exposed to sunlight for one hour. Hmm. Yeah. Is that one hour cumulative uh, like if yeah, 10 minutes, yeah 10 minutes like, there. If, like you leave it out on the dash like it'll yeah <laughs> but but if it's like 10 minutes and then you can get it into the dark yeah, exactly you, you, okay exactly. yeah yeah it's not like it's like oh it's burned for now it's like burned for five minutes then 10 minutes oh that's 15 it's like no gotcha. if you if you fight for longer than an hour and it's exposed the whole time it'll, mm -hmm. it'll essentially like break, bake itself out and then that just means that it loses the plus one it'll still be a dagger so, yeah that's Not sweet, you. dude. That's crazy cool. That's day. really cool, actually. Yeah. Yeah. I was, gonna, I was gonna give you the chef's knife, so <laughs> uh, uh, you were a dagger fight, I was gonna give you this. Yeah, right, right. All right, so we're so we're dragging him back in, yeah? Yeah, I'm looting um Pippa. Yeah, loot Pippa. 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 Oh, oh sweet, sweet Pippa. All right, so uh yeah, on Pippa you find a wand of webs. Oh. And what? But that shortbow. What's that? <laughs> that that shortbow. Can I have the shortbow? Oh, take it. Yeah, take oh, it. Oh, so uh, he actually has a. It's a. It's a hand crossbow. Or a hand crossbow. God, not a shortbow. But uh, you you can take his hand crossbow if you like. <laughs> and fairy, I'll remember to pick your shortbow back up. Yes. 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 No, no, um, leave it behind. <laughs> so yeah, you find the wand of webs, and there is forty-two silver on Pippa. Who's doing the uh, party loot? I, I have to is. keep track, track of it. 42 yeah. silver. Just party. 42 silver. Well fought, friends. That was hard. Yeah, no, that, that was a, that's a level five. Like, drow aren't, aren't, ain't nothing to fight And we with. were two party members down. 
Well, two party, three, yeah. it took two party members hours down, and, and also, yeah. you know, you would they have made a difference, though? I mean, you know. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he could have, like, cast Mind Sliver, and they could have just ignored him. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, Starting no, no. next week, the Professor and Xander are off on their own adventure, away actually, from all no. these assholes. <laughs> actually, no. Next hey, can week. Can I study your spell book? <laughs> another, another, another arousing of adventure. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the library. We struggled because we didn't have you. No, next I know, we can try I to know. figure out what the uh, what the Durgar centipede is that the professor is building. In this. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You get to this oh basement. Lord. <laughs> well, I I will unfortunately know soon since I was headed downstairs to get the uh, the yeah. other guard in shape. Some kind of living hell. Is um, is he right, speak friendly? Uh, it's currently still asleep. Um, I'll so the uh, pouch spell in. lasts for a minute. I was God. I was hoping it would go on long enough that I could wake it up and have it just attack you guys for shooting it. But um, but no. I mean, it's a it, so it is a domesticated, uh, similar like a uh, like a horse that you can rent. So you you've yeah, seen yeah. them at the stables all around. Uh, so like this, you know, if, if it's sort of left to its own devices and no one sort of tries to coax it, like it will wander back to the stables in town, presumably. And uh, I'll and check the, um, the satchels and stuff. And, Excellent. And Smart. See if it's got mm -hmm. All right. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, go ahead and uh, roll. Well, roll me a d12. This is that, that, That's my go-to. I, I, got, I got plenty and plenty. Ten. Of... Ten. All right, then. Let's see here. 5,000 gold. There's actually a uh, wooden box of coins uh, that as you sort of pick it up, ching, ching, ching. Um, go ahead and roll 2d6, 3d8, and 4d12. 2d6, 3d8, 4d12. All right, lovely. So you find uh, 8 gold, 7 silver, and looks like... 25 copper? 25 platinum, wow. Like platinum. <laughs> All right. And friends, this is... I've got those in the table. Yeah. So it is 1048. Uh, as you may well know, we have pushed our cold hard witch times back one hour as I am uh, nearing uh, the time in which my partner will be going to the hospital to have our child. So we have one more session next week. I'm going to go ahead and put the pin in this session this week as the party has triumphantly prevailed at the East Haven Town Hall and managed to save the town yet again. So, did, did, uh, oh, oh, Rodney, hold on to that rage till next week. Oh, baby. I gotta, hold on yeah, to it. no, I just gotta, I just gotta <laughs> keep it in here. <laughs> did we level? Meanwhile, we just hear like the wet smack of, of Flynn's fist just pounding <laughs> this drow's face into the dirt. No. Oh, right. no, not, not yet. No, no, mm -hmm. this is for Imdra. <laughs> yeah. No. Oh, hold on. Um, <laughs> But did we level? Did we level? That's important question. Starting next session, you will be, I believe, you're level four now, right, friends? Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. Be, we level, yeah. Yeah. Level. So you yeah. level. Four. Everyone is now level four. Wow. So we should we should level during the week. Yeah, level during the week, so that on the last session you will be level four. Nice. nice. Or less. Awesome. Le yeah, yeah. At the you know start of that. Yeah. 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 Words. Yeah. Now we're ready to go at level four. Uh, cool. Thank awesome. you, everyone, for joining us for this session of Cold Hard Witch. Yeah. Um, 